It's beginning to look a lot Baby. like Christmas. Can you tell me when you want to start with songs? Holes on every, in every floor? store. Floor? Holes on every floor. Because you're in a hotel because you're a hoe. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Hotel. The holes be on the floor. Hey, every floor. Ooh. It's like a sex party. Speaking of that, no, we don't have y'all to speak go of that. join the Patreon so you can hear about our experience at the sex party. All right, you didn't have to. That was a wild ass, <laughs> dumbass plug. Nah, I'm just saying. <sighs> you look really nice today. You do too. Is it the hair? Yeah, it's the hair. She is so excited about this hair. Y'all. I am very excited about this hair. I'm sorry. You want to talk you about watching, it at the top? If you're watching the video. I got a new wig on. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. You know, it's, uh, it's ginger. Is this a ginger? That is, yeah, I, know, I guess ginger I know. works. My, my vision's better than yours. Not completely ginger. It's ginger. You know what I'm saying about ginger? It's ba- ba- The hair color ginger. It looks nothing like a real ginger. Real gingers are like brown and like green sometimes. I feel like the way you said it is a slur. What you mean? Why you just can't say redheaded people? Because you said ginger. It's the way you said it. I think I'm just talking about the color, and you said a ginger. Sounds like a nigger. <laughs> That's what it sounds like to me. What a hearty are. Say a ginger. A ginger. A ginger? My ginger. My gi- All right. <laughs> um, so I have this wig, and I remember before I've been asking y'all about wigs. Like, I need a good wig. I mean, and you know, beautiful supply store wigs. Just cheap-ass wigs and trying to do it myself. But you've been killing it, though. I've been killing it. You've been killing it. Because I, I know to work on a budget. But um, this wig was sent to me by um, Styles by Devante on Instagram. It's D-A-V-O-N-T-E. And when I tell you this is the best wig I've ever had in my life, like I was so scared to install it myself because I was like, what if I fuck it up? I don't want to cut too much of the lace. This is probably way too much for like people, dudes that are like, I don't really give a fuck about this. Um, but yeah, like I got this wig and it's really, really nice. I'm really excited about it. It's my holiday wig. It might be my birthday wig. I don't know. But this shit is it's laying. It's laying. I feel like it's going to be your holiday, birthday, hey, Valentine's hey, Day wig. Hey, you know? come on. Because I never had one this good. You got to get a season out of it. I'm so excited. Like, I was very, I got it in the mail. Like, he made it look amazing. I'm not doing it justice right now because we had to hurry up and record, so I couldn't really style it the way I wanted to. But the color is just, okay, whatever. Shout him out again. I'm fine. Styles by Devante, D-A-V-O-N-T-E. Um, and... The thing was, I was so hyped because, like, he did, like, wigs for, like, Carrie Champion and, like, Seven Streeter and, like, shit like I that. I love Carrie Champion. And I was like, I am none of those amazing women at all. But, but, you, but you are Christian don't, don't, motherfucking Seville. That's, that's it. Tanner. Tanner. You got to remember because yeah, I don't think people there. think we married for real. Yeah, I know. Because we don't wear rings. Yeah. I might talk about that later. I don't know. You know. But, um, so, yeah, I'm very excited about it. You look good. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, because you finally did my motherfucking hair. I did, but you have a hat on. So After like funny. six months, I don't know he has a nah, hat on. I'll show so you funny. Nah, nah, we killing him. Okay, we killing him real quick. All right, are we though? Because it's a little fuzzy now that you took this hey, hat off. Hey, chill out, baby. You gotta just put it back down. Okay, it's all right. Okay. It's cool. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening right now. I like it, man. Oh, I like you. <laughs> it's weird because we and have you somebody. Got these fucking antlers just it's, fucking up my it's life. It's the holidays. Why you don't? Why you are such a Scrooge? I'm a Scrooge. Yeah. All I'm gonna say is for all the clips, all them antlers ain't making it. What the fuck you? <laughs> I ducked down. I ducked down because I wanted to fit in the frame. It, Why not? We get a half an antler. Well, half my face be in it, so that's right. fine. I guess, you I being guess real works. uncomfortable because we have a guest here, so it's really weird. Not, I, I know you're not introducing the guest, but we have a guest. When they read it, it's going to say featuring blah, 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 blah. So they know we have a guest. So you're, right. you're just being weird and uncomfortable right now. I'm not. She's trying not to laugh. It's hilarious. I'm not. God, I'm chilling. dog. How was your week, baby? We didn't get there yet. See, I told you. I told Always you. I can't. Up. I can't go early because I don't know how this goes. I'm sorry. I'm talking to her. I'm not talking to you. I can talk to somebody else this episode. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the order. No, but yeah. You want to start the show? Oh shit, we didn't do that. Exactly. Cool. Okay, go ahead. It's J Rod, Chris and Seville, and then we had sex a podcast, the fastest growing podcast in Virginia Beach, Virginia, hey, hometown. Burr, 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 burr. You know what's so crazy? So, um. You, do you want me to put the real horns out there? Don't fucking do it. I think it's disrespect. God damn, I think it's disrespectful. Real it's real disrespectful. <laughs> uh, y'all, we got all these buttons if you didn't listen last week, which is dumb because you should have because that shit was hilarious, but it cut off halfway on video. Don't worry about it. Um, but we have horns. We have 
new shit and he wants to use the real shit in place of my fake shit. Nah, I'm not trying to replace you, baby. I'm just saying I want yeah. I want you to match. Yeah, because this this board can't fuck you. I know that. I know that for a fact. I ain't going for it. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't even do the button. That won't even help. That won't even help. That's why it's great to have somebody else here. Oh, man. Um, what was I going to say? You said something. The horn can't fuck you? What else? The horn can't fuck me. You're right. Yeah. Just acknowledge it and let us sit in. Have you ever fucked like an inanimate object? Okay. Um, nah, I had thought about a cucumber. Um, really? I thought about it, but I was watching. Do you remember? I don't think it come on no more. Um, a Thousand Ways to Die. Okay, see? God, I wish you had a mic right now. A Thousand Ways to Die or A Hundred Ways to Die or whatever. And it had a story about this woman that fucked herself with a cucumber and a hair from the cucumber got in her bloodstream. Wait, wait. Cucumbers got hair? It, car- it was a carrot? It was a carrot. It got in her bloodstream or something like that, and then she died. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And sorry. that stopped you from fucking yourself yeah. with a carrot. The only thing that stopped me from fucking myself that with a carrot sad. was the show. What? They skinny, too, though. This is, this anyway, is... like I said, we the fastest growing podcast in Virginia Beach. You ever seen it's... a thick carrot? You mean like... Like, you ever seen a carrot and been like, I'm jealous? No? Like, ooh, I wish my body was like a carrot? Dick, baby. Are you following? What's the name of the show? Your dick. <laughs> Your dick. <laughs> you ever want a carrot dick? Now listen. <laughs> nah, because it's skinny at the tip. Yeah, that's why I said I can't. I couldn't do that. So, all right, go ahead. Nah. Virginia what Beach. I was going to say <laughs> <laughs> is that um, Virginia <laughs> Beach. <laughs> hey, yo, stop touching my buttons. He's Miss so guest. mad. He's so mad. He's um, so mad about no, the No, no, no. Um, it was so crazy. So, on Instagram and on Facebook, um, I put up our high school IDs. Damn it. And so many people were surprised that we were actually, like, from the beach. Damn it. Yeah, I mean. I was very upset about that. You should be. Why? That picture of you. Everybody said you. you look like the dude at school that'd be like, where my hug at? And <laughs> you absolutely <laughs> did look like that dude. Like, yo, where my I hug see, at? I see a lot of uh, the, the, them franchise boys. Somebody said I look like I was in Escape, but like back in the day, Escape when they were singing like "Understanding What I Need from You," <laughs> when that. he was trying to make them like a female Jodeci. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I looked like that. Like I had the like candy wrap. <laughs> yeah, you ain't supposed to be so proud rap, about but it. But what was funny was we auditioned for the talent show with "Is My Limited Main," and we sang "Tonight" for practice. Wow! So it was that era of Escape. I think we thought we was gonna be Escape. How but that's when out? I was like ashamed of my body. <laughs> Shut up. Where you your career been. at? You didn't have nobody. Nah, I'm just saying in high school. I had titties in high school. Did you? Yes, I had great. I told you, I used to tell tales about my titties. Remember? <laughs> I said they were the best titties that I've ever seen, ever. Like they stood, wow. they paid attention. Like they were nice. Anybody play with them? Mm, I mean, I did. I had a boyfriend and no, and I didn't have sex until... So nah, I was scared of titty play too. <laughs> I'm scared of a lot of things. Yo, is titty play like, you know, uh, what's the word? Enjoyable? For me? Yeah. Not really. So when I suck on your titties, you don't do nothing? Nah, I do that for you. That's yeah. why the other night when you was like, oh, let me hit a titty, I was like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it don't do nothing for all you right. at all? It felt like a baby was on my breast. Yo, that's nasty. Well, it was. It felt weird. The only other people that be on my breast like that were babies, and that was only for a couple weeks. <laughs> so it's not it's not big for me. I'm very sensitive. I'm ticklish. You don't want me to giggle because you like you don't want to be sexy. You, know, you are the gigglingest motherfucker. Because ever. most of the stuff that's supposed to be sexy tickles me. I am bothered. I am tickled. <laughs> I am for tickled. real. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Don't talk I am, to the guests. I can talk to her. She ain't you told me nothing to do so yet. I can talk to her. Oh my gosh. But it's not just me, it just it tickles. It's a lot. But really? I had great breasts. I just covered them up. What about titty fucking? Like, is titty fucking something that you enjoy? Mm-mm. Really? Why? You just like to do it because they they longer, so they wrap around your dick. Now, they can wrap around about twice. What the fuck you trying to say? The the width of the dick. Because my I'm talking more about my titties than your dick. Oh, okay. They wrap. They can wrap. So it feels like... like it's. 
Yeah, there hey, it yo. is. There it is. Hey, I didn't yo. do that. I hey, didn't yo. do it. I didn't do it. We didn't bring you in yet. <laughs> I didn't do it. I didn't do it. And with that comment, we might not bring you in. It's the width. You talking about the width. I was talking more about like my titties being long and being able to put in a hook. <laughs> <laughs> You ain't like the way I said it. Fine. Forget it. Whatever. I get it. How was your week? Uh, your week was very fucking eventful. <sighs> it was a week. Uh, we got Rob. I didn't think he was going to start with that one. But oh, yes. all right. Well, I'll get to that. No, no, no. We good. We good. All right. Yeah. We got Rob. So there's something about watching somebody go through your car on a ring camera that lights you up. Like you can't do nothing about it because it already it happened. already happened. And you just watching them just go through your shit in your car like they supposed to be sitting in there. Like they just they got in the car and two dudes just went through the cars, just went through them, moving stuff around. Nigga, what if I went down the front seat? You just moving shit. <laughs> I was so mad. And also, how unprepared are you? You knew you was leaving the house to go rob some shit and you got big ass letters, a whole phrase on your hoodie. You're right. Why would you do that? You know what, what fucked me up? A and, whole phrase. And the phrase was, treat her right. I want to be like, <laughs> bitch, <laughs> what? <laughs> you are not prepared to rob nah, nobody with a positive. Right. He had to find some something to get For her. his girl. Yeah, fuck, Christmas. Hey, fuck that bitch. Do you hear me? They took my wallet out. Why was my wallet in the glove compartment? I do not know. But they took it out. And I guess they didn't like what they saw because they left my wallet on the street. Um, the next morning, somebody found it. And all my cards were still there. Um, my little bit of money was taken out of it and my lip gloss was in there. My eyelash glue. I had just bought the eyelash glue. So if they was really trying to treat her right. They would have took that shit and put it with like a little gift basket. <laughs> um, but yeah, they went through the car like two o'clock in the morning, walking down the street, walked up, got in the car, started rummaging through the shit. Um, I'm glad none of the Christmas gifts were in there. Right. Um, right. none of that stuff happened. I'm glad that you wasn't outside, you know, um, <laughs> The crazy part was uh, the next morning you was talking about how you couldn't sleep that night. And the first thing that came into my mind was, yo, if she would have went outside, she wouldn't have known what to do. I wouldn't have. Because first of all, my first instinct is to get smart with somebody. I'd have been like, what the fuck you doing? That would have But also, I don't know if they had weapons. I don't know. You know, my attitude is just very respond. Like I'm, I, I would have felt like I was going to say something. But on the, on the video, it looked like they were younger. Right. Maybe teens, 20s or something like that. But it just feels so violating. Like, you can't shake that shit because it's like, I got to find these. Because we didn't get them. So it's like, I got to find them. And we're not going to get them. Like, just to be honest, nine times out of ten, when it's some when it's some type of crime like that. It's the holidays. Ain't shit happening. Yeah. They got away. The craziest part about this was um, Rocky from the Paw Patrol was in the back seat and he <laughs> <laughs> he didn't patrol shit. You hear me? He didn't <laughs> patrol a goddamn thing. And somebody was like, you know, Rocky only do recycling and he protected the plastic so maybe that was the limits of his job. Fuck Rocky. <laughs> you gonna tell me you've been around Chase this whole time and you ain't pick up none of his traits at all? <laughs> My name was Chase would have been on it. You hear you me? Chase Chase would have bit ankles, would have bit everything, would have bit the treat right off his <laughs> sweatsuit. It would have just been like her right, right off his, that nigga would have got to town. You are a parent. Why? Because you have all of that together. No, I was so people. pissed. I went in there and I was like, did they leave anything? I see this nigga Rocky on, <laughs> on the back, on the floor in the back seat, just looking at me like, I see it all. Bitch, I should have threw him away. I, <laughs> <laughs> I should have threw him right in that recycling bin where he loves so much. He loved a recycling bin so much. Bitch nah, couldn't play, to protect the car. Uh, my parents got robbed before and uh, their dog, um, didn't do a goddamn didn't thing, do did a he? Goddamn thing. He didn't got a Paw Patrol vest. Nothing. He didn't have. No, oh, he a bitch ass dog. Huh? <laughs> he literally a bitch. He re literally a bitch. Man, and he was the same size about Rocky, the the dog. As Rocky, goddamn, yeah. he had blood running through his veins. He still didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> these dogs are some bitches out here. <laughs> I was these dogs. <laughs> fuck these dogs. I was so mad. I was so mad. I almost just took Paw Patrol off the Paramount Plus prescription subscription. Like y'all can't even watch him no more. <laughs> Came and out here playing with Marshall and Chase. Fuck Marshall and Chase. Where was they when Rocky needed this? <laughs> I was so mad. Uh, so that happened. Uh -huh. Also, I opened for D.L. Hughley for a day. Oh, dope. Um, 
Uh, he's usually his usual Oprah is my homie um, Bodacious. Um, they're still and, applauding for you. Oh, that's what the fuck that button is? Yeah. You gotta stop doing weird shit like that. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was like, what is this? Are there people in here? Um, I opened for D.L. Hughley. Um, Bo couldn't do it. And he called me to see if I was in town to do it. Oh, my eyes fucking up. Um, and I did it. And the thing is, I feel like I have been out of practice with stand up so long. Like, I feel like I've just been not worrying about stand up. I'm, uh, Podcasting and all Is my eye fucked up? No you're fine Cause it, it feels like something's in my eye Is my eyelash fucked up? A little bit? No? Alright Um What the fuck was I saying? It sound like your lungs is fucked up though with that. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah Um so I um Opened for D.L. Hughley And I just did not feel comfortable on stage Like I, I felt weird to try new stuff I did crowd work Which I usually don't do But I just was very unprepared, but he said I did good. But me knowing me, I'm like that. I didn't do shit. Like I, I felt it. like I didn't do shit. So I think about it two ways. One, I know you and you are your toughest critic, like just by far. So I'm sure whatever you thought was bad for most people would have been their best set. I mean, it was people. They like they were cool, but then it was also like, I you said know. two things. Um. Oh, you had another one? I had it because I said two. Oh, okay. The other thing is, I know that you are not in practice right now. Like, you haven't really been on stage. So, I think what the good thing is about what happened to you was that you got to test out your natural comedy ability. Like you said, you was doing crowd work and everything, but you're just funny naturally. So, I think that one thing that you didn't do before we got real busy with the podcast is that you didn't test out your natural funny. And I think that's so important for like the elite comedians to be able to get on stage and just make a person laugh. Fuck a set. I can just make you laugh because I know who I am as a comedian. You think I'm elite? I think you can be. So you don't think I'm elite? I mean, I think you can be though. Just say yes or no. However, I think you can be. You don't like saying no or nothing like that? You just just gonna keep going. You can be elite. <laughs> Tell <laughs> Katie, why am I saying that she's not fucking here? <laughs> I guess um I um I posted something on Facebook, mm -hmm. like just about how it's hard for me to try new shit out and I'm like in podcast mode. I haven't been on stage by myself in a while because I haven't really been doing stand-up. The last one I did was um, with Angela Johnson when I did them a couple of rounds opening for her and it was cool. Um, I did old stuff, um, but I've been like scared to try new shit. I have stuff up here that like I've run past you and then I just forget it. Like it's just, I'm, I'm scared to try anything new. Like I don't know what I'm doing almost on stage now. Like, I feel like that. So I just got to get out there and do more. You know, but I, th I think this is so good for you because I feel like when I met you, you were a comedian, but you were also a robot comedian. Like, we were watching um, Carlin. We you were always want to touch me when shit get rough. Nah, it ain't rough. All right. We were watching uh, the documentary on Carlin. Yes. And they were talking about Which is how a great documentary it if really you haven't is. seen it. It really is. Um, and they were talking about how he would never change his set it was always the same thing. He had the same beats and all of that. And I know that's not what you want to be, you know? So I think something like this allows you to really open up your, the different parts of you that you want to let out on the stage. You know, I think sometimes we can, we can think of one thing about ourselves, but other things in life will show us, nah, that's just not me. I can add more to the, you know, more to who I am and show people more facets. And I think one thing that you've done for so long is said, I am this type of comedian. But I think that you're way past that. And I think the podcast has shown you that with how you can, you know, just, just bring up funny out of nowhere. You know what I mean? So you might look at it as, oh, man, I fucked up. I need to do this, whatever the case may be. But I look at it as a triumph. Because you got on stage, you... 
went through the act. You did what you had to do, but you also know that you can grow. And in your growth, you're not going to just look at it one dimensionally anymore. You're going to look at it as a full thing of this is what I can do. Oh, shit. Is this inspiration my Christmas gift? <laughs> no, I got you a Christmas gift. Oh, that was it. That I was waiting for that. That was part of your week, and I was waiting for you to say. I something. was. I wasn't there yet. I was trying to get through the rough parts. <laughs> um, and then I got an early Christmas gift. I got the Oculus, and I've been in the metaverse chilling. I've been playing. You know what I mean? Is that what it's called? The uh, the metaverse. I don't think it's, it's called. called a, it's an Oculus, baby. No, it's called the Meta Quest. A Oculus is something different. It's a meta question. But it's also an Oculus. No, no, no. Oculus is something different. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You got a meta no, it's quest not. too. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I got to watch the episode of Fresh Prince. Um, <laughs> I got a meta quest too. And I've been in the metaverse chilling. I've been bowling niggas down. You know what I mean? We tried to go see Biggie, but. He got it. So he gave me the gift early. <laughs> A day before the Biggie concert was supposed to be. And then when I got in there, they was like, oh, you got to have the account for 48 hours. I was like, God damn. <laughs> I got it early so I go to the concert and I couldn't even get in the concert. I'm in there waiting. I was like, well, maybe something going to pop up is going to say I could do it. I was so mad. Yo, you got to be one whack ass motherfucker to not be able to get to a concert you gotta be that's a, virtual. No, you got to be an evil nigga to be like, oh, 48 hours, get to the back of the line, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no cuts in here. I'm going to give a fuck who you are. Um... <laughs> so I didn't get to watch that, but I did go to a John Legend concert in there. Shit was dope. That was cool. And he oh was right gosh. in front of my face. That Yo, shit was weird. <laughs> so that's one of the first things she did. She literally put it on and she went to John Legend and she's playing. She's like, Yo, you have to see this. I was like, you have he, she was like, Oh my I guess the host. She was like, Oh my gosh, you can see you can see her foundation. You gotta see this, baby. You gotta see this. And I'm thinking, okay, whatever. It's just gonna be some whatever shit. shit. I put it on. I was like, oh shit, I can see his hands. <laughs> <laughs> You like you were like, I think the barber cut him. His edge up a little crisp as a bitch. Yeah, that shit was crazy. I watched this other thing. Are you okay? I watched this other thing. It was like some science thing, and like the dude was standing in front of me talking about some science shit, but his shirt was wrinkled. I was like, bitch, I can see his nipples in this shirt. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, I started bowling last night. That shit was crazy. Uh, I but bat- you didn't watch porn in the metaverse. Yeah, it's hard to find out how to watch porn what in the you metaverse. Mean, just go. All you got to do, I, all you have to do, no, no guest. <laughs> all you have to do is go to Pornhub and type in VR. Oh, that's what you do? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you had to, somebody told me. It's all white girls right now, but I like them. One of our, so. um, one of our listeners told me, uh, to download a game or something, but I don't know if it's compatible for mine or maybe I just had to have the account for 48 hours because I, <laughs> I tried to download it in the same day and I was like, I don't think this is available. Um, but it's like an interactive thing. But okay, I, I didn't know that, but yeah. I'm going to try to just do that. Just go to Pornhub and put in VR and it'll pop right That's up. That's crazy. It's not even yours and you looked it up. That's wild. Nah, nah. It says my man's had an Oculus. So you was just- No, no, no. He had the PlayStation VR set. Yeah. And I put that on and the first thing I went to was porn. And he was just in there watching football while you was jerking your dick, huh? <laughs> no. You just jerking your dick to the 3D bitch, huh? No, no. You can't masturbate while your friend's in the room. You wanted to, though. You wanted to touch it? No. You didn't? No, that's nasty. But you're now, watching porn. That's not nasty? No, because at, at the time, I was watching it for educational purposes. Oh, what was you I, trying to learn? I wanted to see what happens when she squirt. Well, it's going to feel like it hit my face. <laughs> it didn't feel like that. Ah! But it was still cool to see it coming at you. What did you... It's like Avatar. What did you feel? Huh? What did you feel? Horny? You see it? Yeah. That's crazy. You get, you get horny in the Well, in I don't metaverse. have to worry about um, squirting no more, learning how to do that, right? Because you, you got it. We got an Oculus now or a metaverse, <laughs> a meta quest. Fuck, we got, it's virtual. <laughs> the virtual bitch gonna nah, do it. You, you still gotta do that. Um. So yeah, I had a, I watched um, a Netflix in there because mm-hmm. you're like in your house. Like I did a lot of shit in there. I was out in there killing it. So real. I did good with your. Yeah, I was very impressed. Okay. Very impressed. Okay. Wait till your birthday. <sighs> you trying to tell me I don't get nothing else for Christmas, huh? Not at all. That's it? You want me to take back what I got you then? Which one? The wallet? I got you a wallet, but I got you something else too. I was supposed to give two gifts? No, you don't have to, but I got you a couple more things. Oh. 
It's fine. I just love I mean, you. I, I don't worry about it. No, I just I just love you so much. No, nah, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I just no, I just no, really love no. you. No, I listen. I'm still new to the gift giving thing, and I was like, "This is what she really wants." What What did you do all these years? You was in relationship. <laughs> How are you new to gift giving? I gave love. That's not and enough. Love is a powerful gift. I mean, it's. it's you don't cool. want my love. I'm, I got it. I'm, but I don't want to. But just... you don't want extra parts of it on Christmas. So what happens with the extra? What do you do? The dishes? What do you actually do? <laughs> what is it that you do that's different than every other day? I love you. No, so you don't love me more. every other day. No, I love you more. What does that mean? I, what does that mean? I, I, I. I mm. Shit! Mm-hmm. Damn! I kiss you on. Your what? Cheek. You kiss me all the time. You always touching me. I respect your countenance. Spell it. I respect it, though. No. <laughs> Damn. It's fine. You don't have to get me anything else. It's no, fine. I'm get you no I really else. don't. I don't want you to feel pressured because I love you. Well, uh, we on a podcast right now. <laughs> they ain't going to know if you gave it to me or not. To the next episode. What else? <laughs> it's all right. Um, my week. My week. How did your week go? Uh, my week went pretty uh, shit. I think I think I lived vicariously through your week. All week, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, um, we both got robbed. Well, technically, it was me. But... It was you. It was you. Wow, well, my shit was in the just, uh, Um Okay, all right. Well, no, uh, this week it was really uneventful. I've been enjoying our time off. Um, definitely been enjoying our time off. What I did do is uh, got sick. Yeah, that, that sucked for a little bit. Um, yeah, I'm still, for all of us, still working. No, it's fine. It's your week. I'm still working out. You know the the cold symptoms and all of that, but I I, I feel much better. Um, I I drove to DC today. You did to go pick up uh our fourth child. Yeah, yeah. So at two thirty in the morning, two thirty in the fucking morning. I couldn't believe it. Listen, I because <laughs> you can't see in daylight, so I was like, <laughs> please just let me know you made it, cause good God. Yo, listen, the whole way there, I'm just like, I really love him. I think. <laughs> Because like, it is 2 30. Yo, for real. And then I got to the, you know, that dark stretch when you're going, yeah. And I was just like, man, listen. He better be fun when I get him. Yo, he, be- <laughs> he better be worth it when I get there. I don't want no problems out of here. None. <laughs> be like, but nah, you know but I, nah did. I did that. I picked him up and everything. So that was cool. Um, and really, I've just gotten I, I've just gotten ready for Christmas, man. Why you stop? Like you was about to say something. I was going to tell y'all about these uh, cases that I bought for my sneakers. Yeah, I don't give a fuck about that. I did that this week too. Yeah, I bought my sneakers and cases. I gave him a, a, a an addiction. I don't know if that's if you can pass it on, but I think I did. Uh, I mean, to sneakers pass on crack. So I guess. Sneakers. How you know? You ever been passed on crack? Nah, but somebody offered me crack before. But you didn't take it, right? No. But it was passed. It was like, hey, you want to smoke some crack? Who would you hanging with that had crack? Weirdest thing. It was this. No, all of this is weird, but go ahead. <laughs> it was this dude that um, at first we didn't like each other and then we got cool somewhere down the line. Um, but we didn't like each other because we dated all of the same girls at different points in like the year. You dated people that a crackhead dated also? Yeah, but he wasn't a crackhead back then. Yeah. We got cool after. He started crack. Yeah. Because his he dimmed down. You yeah, know. I guess his light just didn't. Yeah, he shine was just anymore. like, whoever wanna be my friend. Exactly. It's just, exactly. Yeah. So um yeah, he he's the one who offered me crack. I said no. How he feel about that? Uh, he was I, you know. You just watched him smoke it there. You nah, nah he, he walked away. He walked away. Where was it? Where were y'all? Where, when this At happened? the green box. Oh shit, the green box. <laughs> we was at the green box. <laughs> crack, crack does go down at the green box. I think the green box is where crack happens. I yes. completely understand that. Yeah. It's okay. What are you doing? I'm Can you sure stop pausing? I got a booger. Oh, you check it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh my God. Okay. Since you know you can check that on your watch. Yeah. Just go to camera on your watch. It's all good. No, yeah, that's fine. no, he's not gonna edit. Not he's gonna, gonna edit leave that. it right there. Uh-huh. It's fine. <laughs> I know that's why I was trying. To <laughs> he is not gonna um, edit. This. But yeah, uh, so you gave me an addiction with sneakers, and yeah, I'm just living that addiction out to the fullest. Yes, that's bad. It's crazy because you got more than me now. Because I didn't know I could just buy sneakers. Like I'm gonna that. tell you, like I told our daughter, we're gonna get you there. <sighs> she don't have a job though. <laughs> 
I make some no, of that money. She's about to be an employee next I year. I make some of that money. She might be an employee this year for real. She just didn't get no salary, but. Well, no, she, she needs to work yeah. for some money. Well, it's an internship now. Yeah, there you go. So it was it an, was internship. an internship Look at this that. year. Look what I did for us. There you go. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, confession. Confession of the week. Uh, do you have one? Do you have a confession of you the week? You go first. No, I don't have one. I've been going first. I know. So what's the, say it. I don't have one yet. I'm you thinking. Don't. Oh, you don't have one? Not at this present moment. Confession of the week. Uh-huh. I don't know. I'm not as prepared for this as I should be because it's new. So you have a whole week. Confession of first the of all, week. First of all, I'm proud of you because when I asked you how your week was, I knew what the fuck you I knew did. How your week was. And That's y'all crazy. Know she never knows how to fuck her week. Yeah, went. I usually ask you. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm proud of that. You think about your confession. While you're doing that, I got to make sure that you guys know that February 11th, we are going to be in San Francisco for our live special taping. Make sure you get your tickets. You can go to andthenwehadsex.com and uh, go to events and pick up your tickets, man. We got a 7.30 show, a 9 o'clock show, and it's going to be amazing. Once again, we are doing a live special taping. That means that when you see it live... It's going to be cool because it's also going to come on TV. But then we're going to be able to say, oh, that was you. And you was in the crowd. And you get to tell your friends, hey, look at me on TV. I'm on TV. Bam. That's what we do. Once again, February 11th, San Francisco at the Broadway is going down. Yeah, none of that helped me with my confession of the week. I was more distracted by your hand movements and the fact that your accent got a little thicker because you was announcing something. Um, I don't have one. You don't? Mm Mm-mm. I think I've been truthful all week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have one. Um, oh, I'm not telling that on here. No, nah, you got to tell that. Well, no, that's not really a confession. That's not a confession. Um, you see how she tries to not tell me shit that's going to hurt my feelings? No, it has nothing to do with you. You oh, want okay. me to have something to do with no, you? No, it don't have to have anything to do with No, me. let's think about you. Confession of the week. No. I, I uh-huh. nope. Yeah, I don't have I anything. No, nah, I thought I was about to re- dredge up something, but I don't. What about you? Confession of the week. I was a little disturbed, or a little sad, um, that we didn't get to watch any Christmas movies this week. Really? I know. You see, that's a big confession. Really? Yeah. Scrooge. Fuck you. You still won't watch but The Grinch, right. though. You won't watch The I'm Grinch. I'm not going to watch The Grinch. No, fuck you. But why? Let's because get down to why. If I'm being honest, because you want me to watch it. I know. Oh, my God. I'm so glad. That should have been your confession. You just <laughs> don't want to do shit that I want you to do. I know that. That's not true. Not, I, I want to do things you want to do. Like what? Sleep. Eat. But you get to do those things. I don't. You don't get to eat? Yeah, because I cook it. But sleep, no. Whatever. Um, Damn, that's yeah, crazy. I wanted to watch. I wanted to watch some uh, Christmas movies. We can still you. watch them. Well, <clears throat> right now, the only thing I want to see that's Christmassy, I think, and it might not even be Christmassy, is the Best Man Family. No, I want to watch that too. Chapters are over. Whatever, final chapters. Yeah, I want to watch that too. I heard it's good. Yeah, I've heard a couple yeah. of people say they mentioned it already. All right, um, confession of the week. You still there? Um, I bought you more gifts because I thought you bought me more gifts. So you didn't give from the heart. I, my heart is in it, right? Like I got a heart and I'm, I feel from my heart, but I got it because of pressure. I was like, (laughs) I gave him one gift, but I gave it to him too early. So I don't think that's enough. So I got two more things. Really? Yeah. Aw. Do and, you think I'm gonna like him? Oh, fuck yes, and you better. Okay. I think you're. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna think they're thoughtful gifts. Thoughtful gifts? Well, one is thoughtful. The other one is recreational. Okay. Yeah. That's what's up. But so, that's kind of why. Okay. You still didn't give me nothing, so I, I might want to take them back because I still got a receipt. No. <laughs> <laughs> so there's also that. No, no, no. I, I got you one gift. And I'm going to go out today and get you another gift. But I got to go out today. Or two. But I got to go out today. Well, we got to flip a coin. Fuck. I should have gotten that car accident, huh? 
<laughs> I would have a car by now. Oh man. Um let's see, I did that, I did that. Oh, I I gotta do this real quick. You shouted out your wig. Um, I did. Which is really dope. I'm going to shout out <laughs> my my uh, sweatshirt right now. Yeah, yeah. My guy, a driver from Made in Norfolk, right here in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, I asked him to match my sneakers with my hoodie. And he did And that. I showed him the sneakers. He was like, got you. Come back in an hour. And he did this. And I was like, man, this look better than my sneakers. God damn it. <laughs> no, no. Shout out to, I want one. You should have got me one while you was there and you didn't. I, but thought about, I thought about you, but I didn't know what color that you would want. So I was like, I'll just bring you back. Because I, I seen some other stuff I wanted. I was like, we're going to come back definitely. He had like a jacket or something like that. Yeah, he uh, had this velour joint on, I think, uh, when I went there. I so. seen a picture of like a leather something. That shit was nice. But yeah, 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 no, so shout, shout out to him. to him, man. He he is our, he is like this area's Nipsey Hustle. Like seriously, yeah, I think so. Yeah. I think so. He's a rapper too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's yeah. I think that's dope. Yeah, I so appreciate. Shout that. out to him. I appreciate the gear, man. Made in Norfolk once again. Um, we have a guest in the house. Okay, we can talk about the guest now. We can talk about the guest now. Okay, so we do have a guest. If you've been listening since the beginning, um, I guess in the it's beginning, in guest. the beginning, it was just us, but then we added somebody on, and it's a holiday edition. So and she happened to be in town for the holidays, and we kind of made her have a mic, and she won't have a mic. Didn't make her do anything. Um, I told her it was up to her. You know that Gerard likes to do whatever he likes to do, and yes, I did say your name because you're the one that likes to do the shit you like to do. Um, Taylor is here. You can talk, Taylor. Thank God. I feel like I've been <laughs> tied up over here for the past hour. What type of foolery is that? I am a different type of guest, okay? I know. <laughs> Way too much. Oh, well, come on, yelling, huh? Yes. <laughs> Ta- why, why did he turn out your volume? Like, no, here go Taylor fucking I'm with the volume again. I'm testing the entire time, and she's just... One, two, one, two. Okay, Tip first of all, top, fuck him top. because that's not what the thing was. The mic was fucking broke. So don't make it seem like no, I no, didn't know no, how to I'm do a sound test. The mic was broke. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, The mic yeah. was broke. He broke the mic. <laughs> I just would like, to, I am. Look, look, look at those levels right there. You can see the shit too. <laughs> no, her levels are wild. Yeah, wild and in like three minutes, he's going to be like, put the mic to your mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's that was fine. his favorite thing. Put I am just saying, I'm a different type of guest. You cannot keep me yeah. silent for that the long. The whole time she wanted to say stuff, and he was like, no, guest, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck oh, up, Oh, and guest. I've been keeping a mental block here. Uh, you talked about Christmas titties. Fuck you. You uh, <laughs> 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 she, got, she got a whole list. She got a whole list. Yeah, I'll, I'll just bring the rest of them up when it comes along. But the main one was her titties. Her titties. What did I say about her titties? You always say something about my titties. Your titties is titties. They, they, you know, they, they just, just had a different because they've been through things. You don't appreciate just maturity. Not, I do. It's a, you, struggle. Your titties is like a sun rising. But it, it already rose, so it's it's setting now. Is it tomorrow? What? Well, I don't understand. It already rose. It's like midday. I got midday titties. Nah, midday is still in the sky. <gasps> Yours is more like sunset titties. Yeah, you go. You got sunset titties. But those are pretty. Sunset titties. What time? No, is no, it? no, no. It's time to get. It's time to represent. That does kind of sound like someone's OnlyFans tag. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like all this whole episode is just for people that know all of these random references that we keep referencing yeah, this real. week. For and real. actually, it wasn't even you talking about her titties is when she was talking about your dick and yeah. I had to... She was like, you come, on, come on, come on, come on, like, come on, come on. Don't y'all remember? <laughs> My gosh, how are you, Taylor? Living. Yes. That's the best you have? <laughs> yeah. She's living. I'm alive. You haven't been on an actual episode in what, two years or a year and a half? I think it was the beginning of this year. That was the last time. But that was even Patreon. That was a Patreon. That was Patreon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that wasn't like... It's been a second. Yeah, it's been a long while, man. What's been good? I think the last time I was on an episode was when we did the live in in D.C. That wasn't an episode. You didn't post... Oh, I thought you were... Oh. No. The last time we were in our old place. That was the last time you were... Like on a regular episode? Yeah, Yeah, I guess so. No, no, no. Last time you was on an episode, we was at your place. The week yeah. after we left our old place. That was yeah. the last time. Yeah, we, we were sitting episode. in your office. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That wasn't earlier this year? No. no. Wait. Hell Wait. no. Hell Wait. no. Uh, maybe not. Because You I were was close only, to leaving. I was yeah. in that apartment for January to March of this year. I moved no, out in no, March. No. It was close to her leaving. I it was. You, I can tell you right now. I think it was. I think you're right. It was. I think you're right. 
Because that is the last time I remember recording, but I'm trying to think when that was. This this year and last year feels like the same year a little bit. No, it does. <laughs> like, I, I kind of forgot most of the stuff that happened this year. Like, I don't even know what I did for my birthday. I don't think I did. Oh, I didn't do shit. That's what it was. I sat in here and he was trying to make me risotto and he fucked it up. And then it was just like, oh, I'm sorry. The last episode <laughs> you was on was June 11th, 2021. Wow. Oh, that's last year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. crazy that that was only last year, but that it was, it was that's so year long, year like it's half. long but like short. Half, yeah, like said, yeah. Like it feels like a really long time. Yeah, to be honest. That's nah, man. So what you been up to? What you been doing, Taylor? Because everyone thinks that you're just never around ever again. It's like no, Taylor's still around. I know. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm here. It, yeah, <laughs> she's she's not. fine. On here. Uh, what has been going on? Um, I technically kind of sort of. I'm homeless, but I am saying you didn't like so are we. That's yeah, so crazy. There's a whole bunch of homeless people sitting in somebody else's room. And everyone's like, you guys are doing great. It's like, if only you knew. <laughs> so thanks. Yeah. This is all the facade. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm in Alexandria. Uh-huh. Um, I am Miss Virginia. Which, all right. I was about uh, to say, are you allowed to? Yeah, I'll say cool? no, yeah. That's dope. That's yeah. super dope, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Yeah, we can. I'm like scared to talk about it. Nah, I'm right. like, I, I just don't. Say nothing yeah. Cannot <laughs> release this title. Yeah. We can say it because I'm not on. I'm on here as Taylor. Like yeah. if okay. I if it's something that I'm as Miss Virginia or something. Yeah, you can't that's be talking about different. sucking dick yeah. and shit. Uh, I mean, I'm Miss, Miss <laughs> all Virginia the states on dick. the platform. Yeah. I mean, if it's the, part of your platform. If it's part of my platform. <laughs> and also, we all had to get here somehow. So. Actually, I heard that oral sex or something was illegal in Virginia. Sorry, guys, I just found this out. Really? Yeah, I heard that it's only, um, or maybe they said oral sex is fine now, and I think missionary is illegal. I know sex no, with your socks on legal. was, or something like that was Hold illegal. on, I'm going to find it. Sex Keep with going. Your socks on? Something, yeah, something Sex random. with the lights on is illegal, which is great for me, because. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That shouldn't be illegal. Sex with the lights on? <laughs> Wait, out of all the things, that shouldn't be illegal. That shouldn't be illegal. Also, Nothing like, else? there were some real insecure men in the 1700s that these were the laws. That, like, who thinks to be like, hey, I'm going to bring this to court today? I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> you ever seen a picture of Ben Franklin? Uh, True. It's he, also sad because they were in their 20s. Like, that should have really, been their prime. He won't really, Ooh. he won't really, you know. Well, nah, back then, 20s he won't was fucking like, in the lights you in your fit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on, you I'm turn about 21, to you're this. like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to um oh last this was a couple years ago mm. wait th- what was this yeah two, a couple years ago uh Virginia finally passed a bill that eliminated Virginia crimes against nature uh, which made oral sex um a felony so in like 2014 they finally just said yo you can wait, fuck with your mouth wait 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 pause 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 so all of this time the women of Virginia <laughs> could have been taking men to court for whack ass head yo <laughs> or also I could have just been like I'm not sucking your dick it's illegal as fuck Exa- we- why did not, what, nobody thought of that I could have been 2014 who, who was I fucking then 2014 2014 14 no I think I knew I was fucking I Definitely could have told him I ain't feel like sucking no dick. <laughs> it's fine. Don't worry about Damn, it. Yeah, we really missed out on an opportunity. I ladies. mean, it's a lot happening. Like it's it's really hold on. What is it? Um, I think cheating was no no no. Uh, also crimes. I guess the crimes against nature law prevented oral and anal sex. They were both um, lumped in with bestiality. So like, ooh. wow. Yeah. I just what about some butts that look like beasts though? So I get it. In 2005, Virginia had an um, anti-fornication law that made it a class four misdemeanor for an unmarried person to have sexual intercourse with any other person. Wow, isn't it? Didn't we read something a couple of weeks ago that was saying like some some state was uh, trying to make that illegal again? No, it, we didn't even read that article. It was in uh, a different country. They were trying to make fornication uh, when you're not married. Against the law. Again, some really insecure man who was not getting sex and was like, hey. this should be illegal. <laughs> oh, <laughs> in, right 2000, the in 2020, they were trying to pass another law that said it could, um, oh, to finally make it legal for unmarried people to have sex in Virginia because wow. you couldn't have sex unless you were married. 
But it's a lot of random ass laws. Like, but I think fucking with the lights on is illegal. Also, um, I don't know if they changed this, but I did hear when I first moved here that on Sundays, technically it's legal for you to beat your wife on the courthouse grounds. So you just so gotta you go. Whoop her ass. You just can't be in the courthouse. You can't you be in got, the court. You gotta be outside. You have to bring her to. Can you imagine that conversation? Like, where are we going? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you, bitch. Hold on, that's not funny. But also, for the sake of the joke, it's hilarious. <laughs> but no, we please, do not promote. Please domestic abuse. don't anybody <laughs> yeah. anybody don't take them to the courthouse. Don't do none don't of do that, that shit. Don't do that. That's crazy. Or again, girl, take some lessons and you could beat his ass. No. Or call that's me. So I've been wanting to ask to beat. I've been wanting to be. Call me. You need some backup? I'm talking about to protect yeah, them, yeah. not to go be That could ass be a too. movement. You just got bitches on the, side, yeah. on the sidewalk ready to go. Just <laughs> wait, waiting outside the courthouse like, nah, you ain't going to bring her in here. It's not, <laughs> Don't worry, girl. We got you. <laughs> beat your ass, nigga. All right. Sorry. Anyway. Wow. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what it was like to have both of y'all here at the same time. And I'm just regretting setting up that other mic. Because usually already. it's you and all your personalities here with me. And I got to maneuver around that. And that was not a bipolar joke. No, it was. <laughs> no, that it was. wasn't. I no, it wasn't. In my spirit. I'm just talking. It was just you as you. You got Jay Talk or Jay Rod. Really? And then you have Gerard. This is also why he waited so long to put me in because he knew. <laughs> she could have said all the shit up top. And you're lucky my memory's a little fried right now because there was a few more things. Gosh. <laughs> but nah, so you've been you've been in uh doing Miss America. Miss Virginia, type shit. um, doing voiceovers, acting, all that stuff, mm-hmm. and walking New York Fashion Week this year in February. So excited what are you for walking, you! Like, in there, like, what, what the fuck is wrong with you? Know, you get an edge up and you just talk about the way everybody looks. <laughs> no, no, I didn't say that. they gonna fry you in the comments. You I didn't me? say anything about that. Shit! Damn, she's walking Taylor. I'm walking in a you show. She's walking Taylor. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess technically that's what yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah. I'm very excited for her. No, seriously, I'm seriously. Very excited. Like, and that's what happens when you join our team. And that's not what happens. That is not what happens. That's not what happens. You, you blow up, she wait out. Nah, you get DMs that say, I wish she was still here on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> because Taylor be getting the messages. She just be like, wow, that's crazy. Still, a year and a half later. It is. Sometimes I do feel a little bad because there's so much excitement. And I'm like, they're like, I'm on episode 56. Like, you're agreeing. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> it's more than a year and a half. A year and a half was when she did the episode with us. Uh-huh. But she I wasn't in the, the beginning podcast. of that yeah, year. Yeah. So it's, yeah, been, yeah. it's been a minute. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. man. You've been without us. Sorry for you. Oh, was that? <laughs> I'm sorry for me. I loved here. I was like, they're either going to do great or not. <laughs> <laughs> and then she left and was like, well, goddamn. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> nah, I'm so glad you're here, man. It's the holiday season. And uh, it feels good to have like a good friend here, man. Thanks. You know, because we be lonely. It's two of us. But we be lonely. Why you act like we don't have friends? We don't talk to <laughs> We have people and it's not even like a you can't have friends. It's not even that type of marriage, but it's just like we just don't talk to nobody. Yeah. Like we just get tired and be like, I'm gonna probably talk to them later. And I'm in like, you know, I have like a group text with like the people I've known since high school, like my, you know, my sisters basically, and I talk to them through there. But like one of them live right down the street and she always be like, girl, you know where I live? And I'm like, girl, I do. And then I don't never go. <laughs> like house just be open invitation. I'm like, I'm gonna go. And I don't never want to get off the couch. Because if we're, we're gone so much that when we're home, I'm like, I just want to be home. I don't want to do shit. No, but, I get that. But yeah. I get that. Yeah, man. Um, let's get into the question of the day. Uh, we'll let you answer it first. Uh, what would you like for Christmas, Taylor? Oh. Um, I'm gonna keep it light. Let's see what I'm gonna do. I knew what she was gonna say. I was gonna be like, Taylor, be funny. Yeah, I was like, uh, that's a, that can be a very deep question. It's a very loaded question. What do wow. I want for it's Christmas? Loaded. I want, you know what? I want a chill relationship. Oh, because right now I do have so much. Go- I, I use that word lightly. We put an asterisk next yeah, to relationship. Could be I don't a friendship. want, I mean, oh, yeah, okay. I want, I've always wanted a relationship, but I'm also like picky. 
I'm pay- yeah, Which and I fine. know what the reality. I'm not like I'm not someone's like oh I have to have a relationship. Like I don't live my life to find a relationship. Yeah, and I also know how people perceive me, so I have to be very careful. How do about. you think people perceive you? I think a lot of people like the idea of da- dating me or mm-hmm. being with me. Then yeah. they've really taken the effort to know what I need in a relationship to be in a relationship with me. Do you know what yeah. you need to be in a relationship? Yeah. What do you need? What do I I need um support. Okay. I need someone who's independent. Okay. I need someone who's comfortable with themselves. Okay. And I need someone that I can turn my brain off and I trust them. It sounds like you need an emotional dog. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? They're there for you when you're sad. What else did you say? Independence. Independent. They out there. They a dog jump. is not independent. You, you literally have to take, have to take it outside to pee. Well, I haven't had a dog in a long time. All right, just go with it. <laughs> yeah. But no, that's okay. I get that. I think that's a great answer. Did you know what you wanted before you met me? You sure she I met you by accident. <laughs> <laughs> you sure I don't still want something? So you you don't get everything you you wanted, and like when you when you 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 didn't you didn't get it. Get what? What you wanted? No, nah, I got no. Nah. I got what I needed, and I think that's all that matters, right? Wait. <laughs> what did you want that you didn't get? She nah, got what was in front of her. Is I what just, she- <laughs> you know, like everything that you do is what I I need that. I needed you. Okay, but what did you want? You. Like, for instance, I need food to survive. And I cook I the food, and I guess you got me, huh? <laughs> no, nah, what else? True. Nah, but you know what I want is like a five star dinner. I don't I make a five, five star dinner. No, no. I'm not your five star dinner. You don't even eat carbs, nigga. In my dinner, there's bread. <laughs> 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 it's bread. It's toast. It's it's a baguette. It's something in nah, my dinner. What, what what things did you want that I don't give you? No, I think you provide all the things. Probably somebody that um listens a little more. But other than that. Or it took into account what I said because I tell you stuff all the time and you're like, no, or I got it or I don't want to do that. And then you turn around and you should have done what I asked you to do. You know what? This is like the titty fuck of conversation. What? No, you know, what? like Just you like let it happen because you're like, OK, well, this makes him feel good. But like you don't really care about it. Yeah, that's that's basically that's what titty fucking feels like for a woman, what you're experiencing right now. Yeah, because why would I want it to just, just peekaboo through my titties? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants yeah. that? I got kids to play peekaboo You're like, with. I mean, but I'll do it right now because it's something and it's exactly. making you feel good. So, okay, like, yeah, whatever. Like, ooh, I should. <laughs> Next time we titty fuck, every time it come through my titties, I should be like, ooh. <laughs> 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 uh, I see you. How would you feel? <laughs> How would you feel? You feel like, like a man? It. I would like it. You feel like a man? Hey, listen. Ooh. Ooh, oh, look at you. I'll do the same thing when I nut on your neck. Oh. Like, oh, look at you. A little puddle. Wait, you can come from that? Yes. Really? Guys are so... Really? Guys. It's like getting jerked off, but with titties. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. So Taylor wants a, a, a I person. want to chill, but I okay. So this is different though than when I just I want to chill. Like because I have so much going on, I would like to have someone where there's no. It shouldn't be that hard to be like, hey, what are you doing? Want to fuck? Like, why is that such a complicated? Or hey, what are you doing? You want to hang out? Like not like there's no there's I'm no about expectations. To say the fuck one should be pretty easy. <sighs> no, it's not. I think honestly, I think it's harder to find a fuck buddy than it is to find a relationship. Yeah. But what if the fuck buddy turns into a relationship? That's and then cool. you know that the dick is great and then they're also want to be there for you. I mean, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. But here's but... the problem. is like you have to also be on the same. Like in my head, if that was, I'm okay with that. Like I'm, I'm so much not thinking about anything. Yeah. That's like, if that happened, cool. But I'm not going into it thinking this might happen. It's just more like, oh shit, this happened. Yeah. So if the other person though was thinking like, well, this could be something. Yeah. Then you can't. Yeah. Do it to an extent. This yeah. is true. Because even though they're saying, like, cool, I'm down with being a fuck buddy, Time they're out. putting too much I'm pressure sorry. on themselves. I'm sorry, Taylor, one second. Who the fuck are you thinking about? No, I, I'm listening to There was a thought Taylor. bubble. That's That's I, I, saw right? that, yeah. I was listening to, t- I got ADD, so sometimes I just be looking like I'm thinking, but I'm not really thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. Or I'm she trying. was thinking, man, it'd be great if you could be a fuck buddy. I've just sometimes. had those. <laughs> I've just had those. Like, I've tried before and then. You know, they quit you. 
You quit them? Why do you think people quit me? <sighs> you think you think people quit me? Yes. Why? Because you're a lot. <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> explain. <It> <clears throat> No, explain. No, you're alive. No, 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 no. no. We are, we are changing that sentence. It is 2022. She is not a lot. You are not enough to handle. Oh, her. I didn't say me. Burr, burr, nope. burr, burr, burr. But because you are projecting, she's it's not mad too much. Horns. It's mad horns in here today. <laughs> it's mad horns. See, nobody likes those. Nobody you likes. Tap it. Yeah, I know. I forgot. It's that right. one's kind of hard. It's all, right. <laughs> it's all right. Operator error. It's cool. Uh, I, I just want to ex- like. I know I'm a lot though. Yes. But I think I'm a lot and it's fun. I think it's a surprise every morning. Do you think you're a lot? Of course. Oh, okay. Oh, I just want to make sure that was said. <laughs> Shit. I was if like... You didn't say that. I was going, why are we here? Like, am I more than you? I think before I got on medication, yes. No, no. But now, yes. Because I'm not on medication? Maybe. What is it? What do I do? No, you you're just like you're you're you are a wait, can you clarify that? When you got on medication, when I got on medication, what before I was on medication, I was way more than her. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, now that I'm on medication, I think she's way more than me. What is it? Um, you are an atypical. Hmm. You you are you are creative in every single way. <laughs> Why, thank you. And your mind goes from one place to another. So ADHD. So, yeah, exactly. So you can wake up in the morning and have one thought, and by an hour later, you have 17 other thoughts that have nothing to do with that first thought, and then by the end of the night, you're mad because that first thought that you had just came back in your head, and you remembered, oh, I didn't take care of that. But we all got to deal with that. Have you ever considered that you do the same thing and maybe that's why it's overwhelming Not at to you? All. I am on medication. Mm. And my you think medication the medi- keeps me... You think it fixes everything? Not everything. Like, part of me is just a lot just in general. No, I, I know that part. But you don't think... that your, You think your medication keeps everything in line? Mostly. No, it doesn't. Oh, no, it doesn't. Mm-mm. And because you get so passionate about shit like if you don't do something it's oh fuck you hate that though. <laughs> everything it's not even a big deal i always think something's wrong because every five oh fuck what happened man i just i forgot to capitalize that t on that sentence <laughs> <laughs> what which again isn't that the same thing that you just described i th- but I, all about- of the yeah i think oh uh, yeah that's why i don't think he sees that and then he's like that's just me that's just what i do and i'm like but that's a lot throughout the day oh fuck it got so bad he was playing the game the other day and he playing it and the boy is sitting in here the baby's sitting in here he goes oh fuck and caleb goes oh fuck and i was like stop and then he was like oh damn it and then cameron said oh damn it and i was like yo this is this should show you it's not just me getting over dramatic like you are just a lot when it comes to you're right that's so. why I think it's interesting you said that about Kristen having it. I've literally have seen you do that, and mm. then you get up from what you're doing and you go sit at the computer for a little bit, and then you go back this. to the table yeah. to the couch. I gotta do this. And then this. you don't even say what it is that you were doing. Like, yeah. was it really that important, or was yeah. it just something that jumped in your brain? Usually, it's something really stupid, like I gotta check this email, or oh my god, I didn't. Uh, but you know, but you know why I'm I gotta like go that. get these shoes. I'm like that. Yeah, you're right. Oh, <laughs> we ain't got no That's olive oil. Fuck. <laughs> But I'm like that because with the medication, it allows me to feel. Home- Fuck you. <laughs> no, it's fine. You still don't feel with the medication. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it allows me to hone in on things that I would normally would forget. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, oh, fuck, I got to do this. And I jump right on it to make sure that it gets done. Before the medication, I would think about doing something. Like I was saying with you, I would think about doing something. And then by the end of the day, I've totally forgot to do it. And then I'm really like, oh, fuck. You don't never forget the fuck, though. You don't forget that, boy. Oh, nah, you nah, get nah, in that, the that. bed. And remember, I remember I was supposed to be fucking in here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't forget that. That happens. Shit. Okay, we got to wait from the question of the day. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. What would you like for Christmas? Yes, you. Me? Why yes. do I have to go? Because I want to know. Um. Besides a nap. 
Um, I want. I don't know. I think I, I'm. I'm trying to. So I know it's very cliche, and maybe I've been on a lot of TikToks, but I'm trying to get into my soft life. Oh. The fuck does that mean? That's the new thing, your soft life. I don't know. After my picture from, um, you know, my student ID picture, I feel like that was a hard, Kristen. I had, <laughs> I had the flannel and the camisole. It was a hard. It was a hard. Like I've always been like a tomboy. Oh, I've heard about this soft life. So shit. I'm trying to be like girly a little bit more, like a little more feminine. Like I, I'm not really like that, and you know that. Is that what the soft life really means? I think so. It's just kind of having control meant, of I'm your. Just not trying to work tirelessly no 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 like no like well i think i think from what i've seen it's like just getting more in touch with your just i want to wear different perfumes i want to get my nails done more regularly i want to maybe have uh, more dresses or boots like something that i wouldn't usually do i'm mm -hmm. just trying to i don't know so anything like that i want to be i want to feel like a, a grown-up i like try a, to make you feel like that though by buying drawers not just that. It's mostly draws. <laughs> I bought you clothes. Like we'll we'll literally sit down and we'll be on like a website and I'm going to Savage things. Shinty. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't care about me. No, no. We'll be on a website and I'm going through things. I'm like, oh, look at this. You're like, uh, it's not really me. Well, it's uh, not my it's not style. Really and then she see cargo pants, like, oh, that's me. But no, I there are things that I want. Like I just ask me more instead not, of just buying stuff. And I think not only that, that too, I think it's funny that you're saying that because I kind of feel a little bit the same way. And I think maybe being in the pageant has made I was me about feel to say, like it's the more pageant. That's connected exactly with what it femininity is. or being like yeah. I can still be rough or whatever that means, but still be girly. But as far as a partner thing, it's not so much about you specifically buying me something that's girly, but just paying attention. Like I, you know what I want for Christmas? I want some man to send me money to get my nails done. Shit. I want someone to cash at me 40, 50 bucks I to almost, go. I almost got wet hearing that. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. so that is crazy. I never thought that that was some, but without having to ask, yes. without having to, without there being a, without anything, just like, hey, go get your nails done. I know you like go. And to me, that would resonate. You're, you are supporting this girly, like you're supporting this feminine side of me yeah, being like, go that, do that. That's no, I, no, I think that's, that's, what? that's, that's, that's a, game. but even, even with us being married, you don't do shit like that. If I'm like, yo, I want to get my nails done. You're I like, say, go, go ahead, get your nails done. You don't send me money to get my nails done. You assume I have it. You no, you have the same card as me. Yeah, but no, even if it's this, even if you sent you her her now. own money, there's still something that's like, like yo, oh, here you go. So, so what you're saying is you want me to take the money Surprise that you have money. access to and give it to you? Yes. Yeah, because I wanted to feel like it's not mine. <laughs> what are you talking about? All of a sudden, a couple, a little bit of money ended up a hundred dollars in my cash app for no reason. I ain't asked you nothing, and it's the cash app message just like, go get your nails done. Go buy you something nice. Ooh, or even that. Like, hey, I was on Fenty searching some things. Here's some yeah. money. Go online. Go find yourself something Go nice. Go get something nice. I've, I've, I've told her I had credits. Go ahead and get you something Lord. nice. Why you always got to make everything so cheap? <laughs> What's the you always got to make everything got to be a deal. <laughs> it's always a deal. It can't never just be some regular shit. Now I got this discount code. I don't want that. Or like some perfume or some, just, hey, why don't you just go buy you some clothes? Go buy you some. But. Just send it to me. Just out of nowhere. I don't. I'm not asking you for money. I'm not doing anything. It's just like look, cash app, something nice. Go, go do this. I get that. Even if I it's just that. not my, just something nice. Like yeah, I want, I want something like that. It's something even about that feels like feminine. Like oh, it like does. You're taking or your, it just feels like you're you care. Yeah. If that means anything, but I do want to be a little to more specifically as a woman. I want to wear a little yeah. more like. I just want to, you know, dress up a little bit more. I have a reason to dress up, do something. I went through a period during um, COVID where I put on makeup every day because I was like, it makes me feel like I'm doing something with my day or like mm -hmm. I just feel because you get in a rut, you get depressed, you whatever. And I'd get up and I'd get dressed and I'd put on makeup every day like I was going somewhere and I ain't go nowhere. And I've gotten so far out of that because I'm like, I'm just tired. Of, I want to get back into that, like get back into caring about how the fuck I look, all this other shit. So- I get that. Anything I'd like for Christmas, just some surprise shit. Some nice. Some I listen. Surprise listened. dick ain't what you want. It's Christmas. always surprise dick. I don't ever know we about to fuck. <laughs> Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, oh, I guess we fucking. Huh. <laughs> it's a dick there. 
No, I get that. Um, um, I, I receive you. What would you like for Christmas? Apparently his dick. Sucks. Your, yeah. You want to suck? You want titty fucking. We've talked about it way too much on this episode. Not, you know what? This is going to sound corny, but I have everything I need. You know, the problem is I should be excited hearing that. Like, I should be like, oh, that is so sweet. But it's just something coming from you is like, it's weird. <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> what you mean? <laughs> because it just sounds, it sounds made up. Go, go it sounds the, made up. You you have everything you need? I, I really do. Like, honestly, this year was so good to us. Yeah. And it allowed us to be able to give in abundance. Yeah. And that's been all that I've wanted to do for so long. Just be able to give to the people that I love ah. without thinking about anything else. I just had that. I just told Taylor that. Like, I've always just been a person that if I have something, like, I just want to help the people I love. Right. Like, I want to help the people I love. I want to be able to just be like, hey, whatever. I don't care. Or, like, I was in, and this is going to be, like, not you. This is not you. <laughs> you're going to be like, bitch, I would have done that. Because you're a Scrooge. But I was in Walgreens, and I was in line. There was you a- pay for somebody's fucking... There was this older gentleman that was there and he was buying what looked like tampons. So it couldn't have been like him and his wife. Like he was older. It had to be like, a you know, a granddaughter or a, something like that. Right. He had that and like some candy and something else that was in there. And oh, he, he was a sugar daddy. No, no, I don't. I don't think so. It was like kid stuff. And then like that. And um, he didn't have the money on him. He couldn't figure out why his cars weren't working. Like mm. why, whatever. And he went outside to go try to talk to whoever he was talking to and I just paid for it and I walked out he came back inside and was talking to them and they, were, and told, uh, they told him Did that it was paid for no I just paid for it and I left oh, but okay. I like being able to do stuff like that it just it was he wasn't buying nothing crazy like it looked like it was just something nice or doing somebody a favor and I just I like being able to do stuff like that I'm a very that. nice person contrary to whatever anybody thinks <laughs> <laughs> but I've always wanted to be able to be in that position to do that I, uh, me and my friends went out for lunch one time and we all planned to go out it was our all our idea to go out i didn't drive i wrote one of them and i paid for everybody's lunch and they were like what are you doing i was like it's always just wanted to be able to be comfortable to be like it's fine right like i'm okay right so yeah yeah. i mean and that's why i really i really don't want much like honestly i'm and it's gonna sound weird but i'm so glad that i have a sneaker addiction now because I'm not, I'm not. No. I don't know why. Yeah. You said also, that. don't get too ahead of yourself. Yeah. Because, like, no, 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 no. like you They're might want to look back at this podcast yeah. a year from now. Like, okay, so nah. <laughs> sneakers for sale. I, <laughs> I hope, I hope you kept know. them boxes. That's what I'm looking at. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I have a sneaker addiction. I have more equipment that I want to get. That fulfills me in a way that needing anything else just wouldn't. You know what I mean? Like, that's just a personal fulfillment for me that's so weird i just never thought of you as like a thoughtful person like that like you want to help people you don't never want to help me i ask you for stuff you'd be like ah Kristen, what do you want (laughs) but that's it's completely a different reason you just do it on purpose no why do you do it i do it because you ask for one set at a time when you know you need a dollar and yeah. the only thing I'm asking for is just tell me you need a dollar so I give you the whole fucking dollar. Oh, I need No, it. just give me how much you want. All right, I'm going to need some more. After, I'm going to need some more after we get off this. <laughs> we start recording. <laughs> Since you tell me, just ask. I'm going to ask, all right. All right. What would you like for Christmas? Let's read some of the other people's uh, answers. Some of y'all answers, sex and that. Okay, but y'all, come on. Y'all got to think uh, more highly of yourself. I mean, the podcast is and then we have sex. I know, so. but you got to just, <laughs> come on. You just got to be specific sex. Maybe a specific position that you need for the holidays. Well, here goes specific sex. Sex with a man sandwich. Okay, yep. This, that's too many on outside, right? Too yeah. many penises in the room. One, one in the butt. One you know, in we the, were having a conversation one before. One in the gut, huh? One in the about, butt, one in the gut. Mm, about six months to a year ago. You and I? Yes. And that was something that you wanted. You wanted a man sandwich. One in the butt, one in the gut. There is. <laughs> I've been no, saying oh, it the whole time. He did okay, not hear Hold on. It. Pause, pause, pause. If I had said that, it was that that had cro- that was an, an exchange of conversation that I had with someone. She's stuttering. That I said She's stuttering. She's stuttering. that I, I would do that. 
However, it's not something... I wouldn't do it. I don't think I would ever actually do it. You just said you would do it. No, it was more of like, okay, well, we did this, so now I want to do this. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, I don't know that I would want to actually do that. I feel like they would get too aggressive and like I would be concerned about my holes. Exactly. Like y'all fighting each other and I'm still here. My body is still <laughs> I'm right I have here. been with way too competitive of men that yeah, I feel I just accidentally attract that that yeah, it would Especially be like, Hello, I'm still here. Yeah, no, if it's one on both sides, they gonna be looking at each other in the eye like fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Like they gonna fuck the shit out of you because they just wanna see who do it better. You know what's so crazy? Like if I if I think about my boys and who I can have sex with, uh uh, uh that sounds weird. <laughs> Sounds totally weird. If I think about my friends. Especially because I'm thinking about your friends. (laughs) And which ones could I go into a sexual situation with another woman with? It's like some of them I know we're going to be battling. But other ones we're going to be like, we gonna be so dapping each other up like are we killing this shit you not first about of all right. you ain't gonna, <laughs> you not gonna dap no nigga up over my head I'm just <laughs> so disrespectful oh my god one time somebody did that no well <laughs> in a way but like not in the act so I had happened to have given fellatio to two men that I was friends with yes and one time we were we were all like a group of friends so one time we were all on, on three way like call on the phone and they started having a conversation about their separate experiences I have to ask this question what I have to ask well I was on the phone and I was like this is exactly and now this is exactly why I will not have sex with friends what time wait out. wait time wait out. a minute Can I ask a question hold on because that is hilarious I'm just trying to <laughs> Wait. All right, go ahead. You Ask met one of the guys. Oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? I was in uh, high school. No, it was right Why? after high school. Right after it was high like school. well, because oh, him. She, said she was on three way. Yeah, with him, yeah. On the phone, that's yeah. It was a while like, ago. Well, the one, the funny thing was the one guy, one of the guys that was in college that it happened, and the other guy had happened the year before while I was a senior in high school. So it was like, oh, year they later, s- look, you got it too. What were they saying? <laughs> Did she get better? <laughs> <laughs> you talking about when she had the braces? Nah, they get way after that. <laughs> way after that. Way after the braces came out. <laughs> Yo. Because <laughs> uh, when I was fucking her, she got she caught it on the dick. Well, <laughs> you know. It almost brace. was something, because one of them, we did get a little bit further than the other one because I was oh, really so now drunk. one was jealous. So it was more like a, whoa, you guys did that? It was like, well, yeah, but what did you guys do? And what were you doing? on the phone Taylor I did they know you were on the phone <laughs> yeah because I oh, was shit. <laughs> like I almost went as, was I the one who was like we should call because the one per, like one of them I did have like kind of a crush on and that's the one that you guys had met okay. the other one like it was a real fluke he could have been anybody and it would have happened like that did not happen because it was him I have a question were they talking before you got on the phone they was like we should call Taylor and discuss this no I was on the phone with boy one and then I was like, oh, we should call because we were all friends. So, so you put yourself in this predicament. By accident. <laughs> you forgot you sucked the dick. I did. I mean, I didn't. <laughs> did did oh, they Johnny know? Is cool. Did they know at the time that they had both done they, that? So that was also funny because the secondary guy didn't know. Like, it was like one of those things where they both knew, but they didn't know that the other one knew that the other one knew. So how did it come Damn. out? Um, I think someone made a joke like, oh, but Taylor did this. And then he was like, yeah, but. And then it was like, a, wait. <gasps> Oh. And they became best friends. And then, that. yeah, they got even closer. <laughs> so Damn. It was like a man sandwich without actually feeling the sandwichness, which oh, is a God. little bit disappointing because if I had to go through that, like, we should have. You felt like the condiment. Yeah. <laughs> she felt like she was the mayo. Literally. Uh, what, what do you want for Christmas? Someone said a new kidney. Yo. Man. Now, oh. I, I'm a, I, I have to put this out here. Guys. I, I love y'all. Like, I love each and every one of y'all that listen, that watches. I really love y'all. Skip 15 seconds ahead because whatever you say is, no, 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 is no. fucked up. Yeah. But when I put these questions out, most of the time, it's, it's lighthearted. Oh, God. And but that's but that's fine. You asked an actual question, yeah. and I really pray that you get one. No, oh that's my real. gosh, that's real, man. That's 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 so hard, man. Also, what if they're just fucking with you because they like drink a lot or something, and they're this is real too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but also, yeah, no prayers to you. Um, this expensive ass holiday over. I feel you. It'll it'll yeah. My bills also, paid. Is wait a, good a second. One. Can we also point on that for a minute because I keep hearing stuff about that, and like also, guys, it's the holiday. Why are people like putting themselves out of like 
house home, and home. Yes, over like be, I, I maybe I'm triggered slightly by that because I I am in a situation where I'm hearing that a lot. Yeah, and it's like the amount of money that people are putting themselves into debt just to show. Like you almost it, to yeah. me it gets to a point where it just seems like you're just showing off. Not, not and show, I, get I don't that. think it's showing off, but I think that this holiday has been so commercialized that they almost make you feel like if you do not give the best gift in the world that you're somewhat less than i also can see like people with kids too they probably feel pressured yeah, kids are a little so well, the, the experience i'm seeing it's not even kids yeah, it's, it's just people it's that's a, like look what i can do for you and it's almost like a i got this oh i got this and yeah. then i got you that but then they don't even know what they got each other yet obviously yeah. but it's like this this and you know what that is a is that some do guy do you feel as a dude that like you're supposed to yeah that's why I used to break up with girls right well, before that's, Christmas well I was when I when I buy you stuff it's be going back to me being like before where I was like yo I just like doing shit for people that I love and yeah, I, I did it. that because I wanted to for you so like I really don't want you to feel pressured to get me anything if I you don't, don't I don't well um, shit let me well, you know well, what's you funny though you, <laughs> you just answered just, that you just so like, quick went right over you that it was gonna quick as fuck <laughs> no 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 you, feel pressure though no you know what was funny though I remember dating this girl and we, we started dating right before Christmas and I remember her telling me yeah I had this her ex cause she got got out that relationship jumped right in with me she was like yeah I bought my ex a uh, Xbox or something like that Damn. and I was like oh shit so that's like she gonna be giving niggas Xbox by next year we dated for seven years I never got close to Xbox and I was just like what the fuck did I do wrong oh, I didn't know, know what you did <laughs> <laughs> you know what you Some damn shit. did <laughs> fuck somebody you know? So mad. Yeah. Um, let's mm -hmm. get back into it. Uh, what, what, what would you like for Christmas? Foot shaking orgasms. Okay. Damn, Damn, I got restless legs, that. though. Wait, that's so not... I'll just be doing it. Um, Paid all-inclusive vacation to Jamaica or Bora Bora. Those are very specific vacations. Yeah, for real. Um, what do you want for Christmas? I'm distracted by... That big, strong dick fucking me hard in all three of my holes. Dominate, then cuddle me, please. Is Pornhub hiring? Because that sounds like that's where you need to be. I also, <laughs> also, you know, I went to hair school, so I was trying to figure out what the three holes were, but I got it. I forgot about the mouth. What if that's not oh. what she's referring to? Well, what else is she referring to? You could do ears. Yeah. I think people will be fucking tickle, tickle. ears now. I, You're over here wanting a titty fuck, so apparently y'all have created an imaginary hole that's a, there. That's a hole that we made you with our titties. Me, yeah, cause exactly. We created a hole for you. I guess you're right. You're right. What do you want for Christmas? To be happily dick down, Christmas night, and New Year's Eve. Well, those are two different days. Yeah, yeah. You can't get both. What? What? You can't get both. And this is why women are on Christmas. protest every other week, because we are not getting sexually satisfied. No, listen. Christmas night, you can get the dick. New Year's Eve, you're going to be too drunk to give exactly. the dick. Exactly. I understand. You, okay, I would rather than if I had a choice, New Year's Eve over Christmas dick. Yeah, because Christmas is more family dick. Yeah. It feels no. like it. <laughs> And moving on. <laughs> Wait. I didn't mean, I mean, it's like, it's family time dick. It's like real sweet. New Year's Still Eve seems bad. like anything, like this could be... Like you could just do some sloppy shit. Like it doesn't matter. Like yeah. no matter what, there was a dick around you and you're happy. Christmas, like you want it to mean something, not mean something, yeah. but like it needs to feel like something. What do you want for Christmas? Someone said for y'all to come to Houston. We're working on that. Yes. We are working on that. Um, joy, peace, and head under the tree. You must live by yourself. Um, <laughs> I mean, or you married, something like that. That's cool. No kids though, because they're going to be like, what's Santa doing? Um, <laughs> What do you want for Christmas to not have to work and peace and quiet? That sounds like a beautiful Christmas to me. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Some good dick and a trip to the islands. Everybody want to go to the islands. Yeah, but what are you doing to get that trip to the islands for Christmas? What? Sucking your dick. What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Just sucking the dick is not getting you to the islands. That is, okay, according to my father. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what I thought Yo. the segue was going to be. <laughs> That is not the segue I thought was gonna happen. <laughs> nah, what's your daddy say? Now called me know. a cheap hoe. Damn, you was asking for the that. islands. No, I was just getting weed, and he was like, "That's it." He's like, "You go to DR for that," and I was like, "Oh, damn." Wait, your daddy was was he shipping people to DR? Look, my, I don't. My parents have been together since they were nineteen and twenty. So, oh, so your mama? If they were, I don't want to know. You gotta ask your mama more questions. <laughs> if it's out the country, don't play. <laughs> I just snorted. <laughs> you gotta ask your mama more questions. If it's, she won't travel. 
No more. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? I'm just saying it because it sounds fun to say. That booty with a bow on it. That was fun to say. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? My money back. Sound like Taylor. <laughs> a lot of people owe me money. <laughs> What do you want for Christmas? My podca- podcast to take that next step. Shout out to just another podcast. Hell yeah. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Discernment. Jada Scroll. <laughs> oh, my bad. My bad. What do you want for Christmas? Um, my electric Cadillac. Okay. Okay. Um, goofy love like y'all's. I don't know if this is love anymore. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what do you want for Christmas? Oh God! I don't want to read that one because it's very sad. It is. It is. Um, Somebody say you, baby, and I knew they wasn't talking to me. They could have been. <laughs> they could have been. They were not talking to me. Yeah, maybe they wanted that hug you were trying to give in high school. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, damn, there's a lot of my I'm gonna engagement read some of these. ring. You're somebody said my engagement ring. Damn it. Okay, oh. but here's a question: Like, do you mean like you want to be proposed to, or like you're trying to get your engagement no. ring back? <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Wow! <laughs> wow! The little bastard that broke into our car broke her shit too. Yeah. All right. Man, I'm gonna get them treat her right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Uh, honestly, I want to rebuild a relationship with my father. That's real. That's. I mean, That's I get real. it. And that came from a dude. I like that. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Somebody said Shantae. Who the fuck is Shantae? <laughs> Shantae, hit up 215N Park. <laughs> oh my God. They're looking for you. Oh my God. That's hilarious. True love. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Love, peace, and joy with maybe a side of some really good ass. Okay. okay. Huh? Um, I don't know. Everybody want to fuck. There's um, a lot of blue balls to, people out here. Um, uh, a new card while getting head in the front seat on the next full moon. Shit, Damn that's right. specific. Is that a good orgasm? Okay, so wait, who you're? Wait, is a new card while getting head in the front seat? You're getting head. Okay. Is is does do the moon like does that affect your orgasm? Do you know? You seem like you would know. You seem an astrologer. I do bitch. have the moon cycle tattooed on my arm, so you don't know yeah, that. No, do you know, it, it just, know anything about it? It was just a cute <laughs> tattoo, huh? <laughs> I mean, really, my period has psyched to the moon, so I don't know. Really? Seems what? Like, yeah. No, that's weird. Which no, actually that. then makes sense oh, I because that. I don't know. I, for some reason, get very princessy around my period, really? like leading up to it. I think most women do. I think so, I too. know some people who don't. It's the exact opposite. They, like, have no sexual urges. They want no one around them, no one to touch them. And I'm like, this is prime time. But to <laughs> a point where it's, like, bad because I get kind of aggressive. So I could see that. However, I've tried that before. What the head or the moon? Head in the front seat? Yeah. On a I've new moon? given head in the front seat to you while we were driving. Don't look at me like that. Okay. Um, but I don't think I, I'd ever got it. It's kind of hard for a guy to give you head in the front seat. What if I just bring my legs to you? While he's driving though? Yeah, that's oh not driving. That's dangerous. Oh no, not driving. Well, I mean, wait, can, can I drive time? and you do that? Ooh, no, that I don't no. think. Do would, you know? Because your head, I'm, especially like your, like I know we couldn't do your head big. So <laughs> where my legs would stretch to, it wouldn't reach the break in the like, gas. Also, you I gotta feel, be a yoga, a yogi to goddamn do some. Pilates. Actually, I think it's here's the thing. I feel like I have long legs, so I feel like I can make it work. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I would like it. Like even going back to that feminine thing, I would feel a little bit too like yes. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? My, I think I'd be like, my seat going to be wet. And I don't know if I'm going to like that because I'm going to have to sit in that the rest of the time I drive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like that. That's just me. And that's just the texture thing. Also, can we take that loss? That felt very aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's there, man. You no, know no. Uh, for my family to be happy and enjoy each other. Um, enjoying each other's company. To ride my Santa's face and put a snail trail on it. Damn right. What does that mean? A snail trail? When you come and it just leaves the... The Mark residue, the, yeah. the mark of the beast. Love that shit. Okay. Um, what do you want for Christmas? Cash, stacks, and stacks, and a couple of vaults full. God damn. Okay. All right. I'm well, with you. I'm with you, man. All right. Uh, we do the question of the day each and every week. All you got to do is go on to our story on the Instagram, and then we have sex 
Or you can go to my page on Facebook, J. Anthony Tanner, and I put it up there as well. Um, but while we're here, also follow me because I'm still trying to beat you, and I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, uh, you you will. Can follow me on Facebook because they got me restricted like a motherfucker for 25 oh, that's days. True. Fuck that's them true. niggas. But also, just follow me. Just, <laughs> and that's fine. Also, um, follow me too. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? You want that? My personal page. <laughs> what is it? You have to spell it out because somebody actually yeah. asked today what yours was. Oh, it's T A Y L O R A B R E U U. Yes. Okay. Taylor. I have a goal for the end of this year, and what like, is it? I got my TikTok goal, so now I've moved it up, but I haven't got my Instagram goal. Oh okay. well, shit! You gotta post some ass up there. Yeah. Yeah, All right, don't, don't post ass. <laughs> don't post ass. Don't do Until it. Until after the passion. I have horny <laughs> followers because I have like, no, like the ones that I'm like, ooh, this is cute and fun and it's like, it gets okay. And then like I'm I post a picture of myself. I'm like, that's not. <sighs> they don't give a fuck about what you're doing. At no. All. At all. No. I think that shit's fucked up too. I'd be posting my kids to get the likes. <laughs> <laughs> and you get it, they but it's not. Them. But then when you look at the next one, it's like, that's what. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nah, right. They love the kids. Listen, they, you got to go with what the algorithm say. They want to see some titties, show some titties. No, they like, no, now they don't want to see. They want to see crafty reels. They want to see makeup applications. They want to see hair. These they want to see. I'm just trying to tell you what they want to no see. No, see and no that's not even shit. true because it, I'm trying to get more female followers and I keep getting dudes. Oh, they. Do you think you look like one of those people that nobody thinks that you'd be a nice friend? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't trying to be mean, but like, <laughs> like when I first met you, I didn't know you would be that nice. Really? I thought you kind of be ass. <gasps> you just look like you was a bitch a little wow. bit. Wow. But you did comedy. I was like, she probably a little bit fun, but really not. <laughs> so I don't know. Do you think, cause I've had people th- tell me that too. And then they meet me and then they're like, oh, she's goofy as fuck. <laughs> And I don't know why. I think so. I don't know. I try to smile at everybody, but I don't know. I think I'm always in. I'm very like. Te- <laughs> sounds like an interview. I'm very team oriented. But yeah. I'm very like. <laughs> That's yeah, why I want let's all sandwich. do this. Yeah, let's do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's all. I actually did have a conversation with someone about threesomes, and I was like telling him my thought about it, and he was like, "I don't think I'm mature enough for that." Oh and I was my like, god! Why can't we all like work together <laughs> and have a good time? Anyway. I, I don't think I ever think about that or I never think about, I, I'm never competing with other feet ever. Me either. But I feel like me, I, I, so I don't know. I've never thought about that before. Cause I'm like, I, I don't, I don't think I'm, I think maybe just the way that I've thought of people that I've met that have been kind of bitches. Maybe you just look like some of them. <laughs> Or in the realm of some of them, I don't know because I've never been that person. I've always like I want to be everybody friend. Like let's let's. But I've had people tell me that they didn't think I was gonna be nice. Like one of my closest friends, like she told me she thought I was a bitch when she first met me, and then I started talking, and she was like, "Oh, she's probably too goofy to be my friend." (laughs) (laughs) But she thought that she was like, "I always thought you were annoying, or you were a bitch, or whatever." And this was like when I was younger, and like, yeah, yeah, I don't, I. That's so funny. That's so interesting. I just, I just wanted to know because I I'm, never think. I think too, I like think even that. with being friends with, like I, it's funny that you said that because I have heard similar things from people I was friends with, yeah. and it was like, oh, when I first met you, they didn't think they were, and it's usually also other black women, which is very really? interesting because I'm like, why, <laughs> why don't really? you want yeah. yeah, but like I'm always like, especially if I see someone, I, I'm never think like even how we became friends. Mm-hmm. I was like, hey, I need you to be my comedy godmother. And I was like, hello, here we go. We're going to be friends. Like, I'm going to, I want to be. Damn, she thought she was that old. She wanted you to be godmother. Well, god she, no, oh my god. You should call me an auntie. Yeah. A comedy auntie. <laughs> I'm like, fuck That's you. not what I meant. She'd been in it for a while. So to me, but I guess I see how for other people that might be like, well, I don't want to. I guess I'm just not that. I don't get yeah. it. If anything, I'm like, ooh, I want you, I want us to be in each right. other's corner type I think thing. that's just a problem that women in general have. Like, we just, <laughs> we compete, so not compete so much, or we think that other people yeah. are being competitive. Yeah. And everybody I've met, I'm like, why the fuck am I, like, they, I don't know. Like, I want to be everybody's friend. I'm just like, please, I don't have a reason for you not to like me. I didn't do shit. Like, I don't yeah. want to hurt white's feelings. I want to be, I just, I don't know. I enjoy different types of people. I think that's also why girls like being, like straight women like being hit on by lesbians. What? Nah, I like being hit on because they be cute to me too. But well, I mean, it's yeah. Fine. <laughs> oh, oh man. Um, let's take a pause for the cause real quick. We are, we are definitely doing some shows in the next couple of weeks. And what just happened? 
Nothing. What has happened with your tone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're doing some shows, man, and we want you to be a part of them. We want you to be in the building. Uh, January 12th, we'll be at the Virginia Beach Funny Bone. We are coming home. Hey, burr, burr, burr. a lot of people did not know we found from posting the uh, high school IDs that they didn't know we were from Virginia, which is crazy. Um, so Virginia Beach Funny Bone, we will be there January 12th. Tickets are on sale now um, on the Funny Bone website, on our Instagram, in the bio, um. Yeah. So I'm, we're real excited about that show. Um, Definitely. We was might have special one? guests. Which one? The last Am show I you mixing were up? No. You uh, that was you DC were on? after or before? That I think was, it was. I think it was after. No. 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 It wasn't. It, no. It was before. It was. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was before. Yeah. Wait. Was the last Virginia Beach one the tortilla chips? I think so. Yeah. <gasps> I think so. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's wild. It's why it's come to the show. If you have not been it's a great January twelfth, Virginia Beach is now. always it's different. super fun. It's yeah. way different. It's fun because it's home and it's people we know show up and then we just have a good energy. So it's it, we sold out last time. Hopefully we can do it again. If we can't sell out at home, I'm gonna fight y'all. Um <laughs> January nineteenth, which is my birthday, we're yeah. gonna be at the Miami Improv. Super excited about that. It's a reschedule from a date we had previously. Um Tickets are on sale now. They're going fast. Please get those ASAP. That's January 19th. That's a Thursday, I believe. Um, February 11th, we're going to be in San Francisco, California at the Broadway. Um, two shows, I believe, 7 and 9.30. That is our live taping for our special for television. Um, so please come to that. We're going to have special guests. We're going to have... Um, gang, it's a lot. It's a lot of shit going on. We they've been working really hard with this. We had to reschedule it from the last one because it wasn't ready, but it will be ready February 11th. Please get your tickets now. That is Valentine's Day weekend. Um, it's also Super Bowl weekend, but we don't care about that right now. Yeah, in the um, next couple of weeks, <laughs> we're going to be doing a special giveaway for that show. So yeah. you definitely want to be on the lookout for that. But get your tickets because they 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 might start moving kind of quick, especially because Christmas is. Here, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that will be a great to, Christmas gift, also. Yeah, to, most definitely, it's, it's it's gonna be fun. So super excited to do that. Yes. Um. Other than that, let's get into the topics. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh, we have been going. You hear me? Yeah. This is the second week in a row, by the way. Well, we was I like topics. You, damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, I was just thinking that I was like, is this? No, no we, like, we just been going. Because the partner is like, maybe of. that's how this ends now. Like, this nah. <laughs> <laughs> We always kind of just go. Like, it's just been happening where we're like, no, we definitely have things that we need to talk about. And we don't never talk about that shit. I mean, that's yeah. always been a yeah. thing. But no. <laughs> yeah, it's, bad. it's bad. It's bad. Yeah. It's bad. Um, I thought this was really crazy. This came up a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Tia Mari, sh- am I saying her name? Mari? Right? Okay. What was uh, that? Shares that she and her children plan to spend the holidays with Corey Hardick. Uh, uh, Hardrick, excuse me, will always be a family. And Wait, I thought, okay. Were uh, they not supposed to? Well, yeah. I think that it it's something to talk about. Like, could you see yourself having... Yeah. Could, I didn't even finish the statement. But yeah. But go ahead. Could you see yourself having Christmas with me and the kids if we were to break up? Yes. Really? Still a yes. How did you break up? What? Oh, shit. You're right. We gotta go. Is there a new bitch? Yes. No, she's not coming. Why can't she come? Okay, nope. wait. No, she could probably come. Wait, how long has it been? Is it fresh? It's fresh. Was it amicable? No. Maybe it wasn't. It wasn't amicable and there's a new bitch. Yes. And you want me to go spend Thanksgiving Christmas with, Christmas with you a couple of months after we broke up. Yes. And it wasn't amicable. Yes. And you want me to spend it with this new bitch. I want to know what type of weed you're smoking. Because that's... You think that's <laughs> normal. Wild. She got to come too? She got to come. What happened? What'd you do? I don't know. Pick some. No, you pick some. <laughs> you walked in on them having sex. Life. I walked in on them having sex? Mm-hmm. No. Okay. It had nothing to do with the new girl. It had nothing to do with the new girl. We just... Wasn't clicking. Why she got to be there? Because I'm spending Christmas with her as well. Why she can't do something later? Because I'm spending... Have I met her yet? Okay, maybe. I've met her. There's a lot of stipulations to whether... No, because it depends on if I'm going to do it. If I have not met this new girl 
And all, I, I'm, I don't want to do that. I think if it's the first year that you've broken up and you yeah. just, this is a new person you're just starting to date, then you know, yeah. she doesn't need to be a part of I that. I need a second. Yeah. I think I want to spend been, all day with my kids. So then you, and you're going to pick this other chick over your kids then? No, I'm going to have her come. No. And help you with your kids? She makes great cookies. So, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why I came out like a really... I was about to say, I make great cookies. <laughs> no, I I don't know. I think that if I haven't met her yet and this is, we didn't end on good terms, we kind of have to n- learn how to co-parent first anyway. Mm. That's how I feel because it's our kids. I don't want to bring them into an environment that we haven't figured out yet and now they're going to go meet somebody new. Like, I think that's uncomfortable. That's just me. I'm not saying I can never bring her around my kids, but... If it was a couple of months and this, like, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay. I think it's more about the kids than anything. It's not about me and you. It's about making sure they're comfortable. Oh, and, they met her already. And how'd they meet her? I introduced her. Somebody them. you just met. I just met. I mean, I knew her for a little bit. You know her for a long time, huh? I knew about Is that why we broke up? I knew. <laughs> because how long you known her now? I now knew, you got extra questions. I knew her for a little bit. I knew her as long as I knew you before we got it. We got uh, engaged. Oh, now you want to bring our situation? <laughs> that don't apply to everybody. And also, way to just incriminate yourself if you guys just broke up, exactly. but you've known this chick for the last six, seven months. Yeah, we broke up in March. Me and Kristen broke up in March. I met her in June. Nope, problematic. No, no, no. Why not? No. First of all, I'm not inviting nobody new around my kids until I make sure that they are are good for my children and they're going to be around for a while. Yeah. I, I if they, they're my children September. are used, my children are used to me being with their father for a long time. I'm not bringing in new variables out of nowhere that may or may not be there forever. That's just me. How did, what? I don't, I know that they, they never divorced, said, but I don't, Oh, they have it. Yeah. Okay. They yeah. never said. I like, no, I, I didn't know if that was out and I just wasn't seeing it. They never, they never said, but I'm, I'm completely okay. I mean, I'm, it's not for me to be okay. It's not my life, but like, I also would feel a little bit like that was a setup because if you've been dating this person for that yeah. long and now you're trying to bring them around for Christmas, yeah. we yeah. had plenty of time that I could have met this chick. And again, this is about something we just made up out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> what, I don't want to throw that on them. I don't know what they did. That's their life. I get it. Man with swollen testicles found to have dancing worms living inside of them. Yo, you be picking the wildest topics. Because I just want to know if you would fuck through that. What, dancing testicles? Dancing worms. Swollen dancing worms. testicles with dancing worms in it. You'd just be like, fuck it. I don't want nobody cutting my dick. I'm going to just fuck through this. Yes. And that's why Wait, I put can, it in Oh, my God. And he's only 26. He's only 26. Can I pass on? If I can't pass on the worms, then yeah, I'm fine. No, they just living in your dick. Oh, fuck it. And it's swollen. How did they get there? Um, it says why. It. Um, he was believed to be suffering from, from some sort of parasitic infection and performed an ultrasound. Um, keep going. Wait, 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 wait. Here it is. Um, the phenomenon is known as the filarial dance sign, which occurs when live worms have migrated into lymphatic channels, causing dilation and dysfunction. We got a bigger issue than whether or not you want to with swollen testicles. No, it says this illness is caused by a mosquito bite that infects the patient's body. Oh, damn. Yeah. Wait, you scroll terrible. Um, a mosquito bite, bite that infects the patient's body with microscopic roundworm from the something, something species. Once the worms were inside its private area, they caused fluid to build up, leading to the massive swelling that he experienced. Wait a minute. So he got bit on his dick? Probably. Why is dick out for a mosquito <laughs> to get it? What if he had on shorts? Why is dick out for a mosquito to get it? <laughs> what? He had on Mosquitoes shorts and it- Mosquitoes do not travel He's 26. He might have just had, you know, I'm not saying that only 26-year-olds wear shorts, but they could have been little shorts. Even if they're little shorts, nine times out of 10, they're tight. I was about to say, isn't there also usually like a basketball light, like a, shorts? Yeah, but there's even something in there that cups around. Yeah, basketball like a lining. shorts. That's, That's where I'm like, trunks. this isn't about your comfort. This is just like, do I want to touch your dick if you have worms dick, in there? Your dick would be out if you would just let it. You're right. You would have your dick swinging in them shorts. <laughs> he don't give a shit. <laughs> he would want to air his dick out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense because of those pants that you have with the well, hole in it that you refuse. I to. don't wear those anymore. Which, which pants? My my sweat my like joggers. Oh yeah, he had the joggers and you had a whole hole in your yeah. in your 
crotch. Yeah. And it was like, why are you not changing those? You all did comfortable. comfortable. I like them. I fucking love them. Oh, now you, you got a little bit to... of money. You bought some more sweatpants, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Just abandon them. Also, maybe check your testicles. Nah, I'm good. It ain't swollen. Did you, I put this in there. Um, I don't know if you want to go into it because I don't know if it's a video or if it is listed. What's that? Um, well, I don't want to read it if we're not going to go through it. We can go through it real quick. But I don't know if it's a video. Are you talking about this? Yes. I don't think this is a video. Um, I think it is a video. Okay, so play the video. It's not a video. Um, okay. Yeah, it's not a video. Um, Dana Chanel posted, uh, here are four rules I follow when engaging with married men to respect their wives and their marriage for single and married. I'm not done for single. <laughs> damn it, man. Chill for single and married women to learn how to carry your, to learn how to carry yourself with grace and respect a woman's marital status. First of all, I'm so happy that you put this on here. I hate when people tell me what to do in my marriage. That's why I don't give advice. <laughs> and I will say that to the day. I don't give advice unless you ask me something specific. Don't tell me how I need to carry myself around somebody. You know how to be respect respectful to people. But also it's like what grace to you might be not be grace to somebody else. She's married. This woman. Yes. She's. Funny. Yeah. Okay. She's wait, married. wives. Can I get an amen in the comments? Hello, do y'all agree? Also, let's be clear. The mockery. And difficult. I just wanted to see what she had to say right, about. But go ahead. What's the first one? All right. First one is. Respect his personal space. I think that's what, first of all, my comment is, I think that's with anyone. Respect their personal space or whatever. It says, I didn't realize how often this is. You this, ain't got to read through the whole thing. I, baby, please. I'm, I'm just letting you know. Our, uh, physical touch is off limits. When greeting married men and as a married woman, I greet with a nice, firm, gentle handshake and eye contact. Typical three foot roll rule. And when taking photos, keep hands to yourself. So she's talking about. In general, she's talking about how women, whether married or single, carry themselves around other married men. Yes. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Yo, can you chill, baby? You really trying to... I want to talk about each one. That's the whole point of going through them. What do you think we're supposed to do? I, I don't... Okay. okay. Um, first of all, I, I understand what she's trying to say. I think you should respect anybody's personal space. Um, but... So, I'm... So I'm a hugger and that's probably a problem. Uh, sometimes I just go for, but it's usually with people I know. It's just a like little innocent hug. I'm a hugger. That's not for everybody. I understand that I have a problem with it, but taking what even the, so all of this, I, I get what you're saying, but even the taking photos, keep hands to yourself. Like what if you're just taking photos with somebody and you just got your arm on their shoulder or like, like most people I know take photos. If it's in a group, you're getting close together. So you all get caught in the photo. Like, I don't know. How do you feel? You don't say anything. I don't give a fuck. Like, honestly, um, like you said earlier, you know how to act. Like, don't be disrespectful, period. I think having these rules are fucking asinine. I didn't even go through all of her shit. Respect the personal space. Of course, you respect anybody's personal space. Yeah, yeah. Like, whether they're married or not. Like, that's just what the fuck you do. Uh, all this thing about uh, you can't you keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, I'm not going to touch you in no crazy part. But if I want to give you a hug because we cool, then fuck it. Yeah. I'm kind of mm. curious. Can we like go, ahead. go to the next one? Go through. How next many? one is uh, greet the wife first. If the wife is present, the last thing I want her to do is feel dismissed. When meeting a couple, I will address and greet her first with a hug, handshake, and always compliment her. I want her to feel comfortable and acknowledge her rule, her role in his life. Now, the woman I'm, I know is going to say that feel fake. Already annoyed by this. Because why do post. I have to? Co what if I don't like something? What if I don't know you? Wait, no, wait, hold on. Wait, I didn't say that. Well, if you're greeting somebody and you don't know them, I mean, saying hello, I understand greeting somebody and saying hello, but like, I'm not about to just find a compliment to give you. What if I don't like nothing you got on? What if I don't like your outfit? What if your hair ain't cute to me? What if you just don't look nice? Nah, I mean, I, I, I say I say compliments to people. Matter of fact, I probably get more compliments but you're phony. to people. You're phony though. Yeah, you're right. That's different. <laughs> your baby is so cute. I be lying. No. Wow. But you so, heard it here, guys. <laughs> here's, here's one thing with like, so I have a lot of male associates, if if nothing else from comedy. Associates. From comedy. <laughs> like, I mean, there's a I know a lot of male comedians. I know a lot of female comedians, but I know, I mean, let's be honest, I know a lot of male comedians. So sometimes I will greet them first only because I know them. 
But that doesn't mean I just ignore that they got a wife or or whoever with yeah. them. I don't do that on purpose, but I I look at both of them. I acknowledge them, but I'm gonna so, talk to the person I know. What's good? How are you doing? Hello, how you doing? My name is J Rod. Yeah, you like, know what I mean. Yeah, I do. And if you feel dismissed, that's more a personal thing than anything because I'm still gonna greet you. I'm not gonna act like you're not there. This feels targeted to single women. At that also, I don't think like I. So I think how do that's you feel quite, about that? I, this oh, annoys the shit out of me. How do you feel? feel to the like, point where I feel like part of me doesn't. I I've actually have had these thoughts over the last couple of weeks, especially because I'm currently living with a couple. Yeah, and they're not. I'm not. They're different. Like I'm not using them as an example, but me and her have had these conversations. And the way that some women get once they get married is something that I don't want to be a part of ever. I never want to treat someone the way that I think some married women treat other women or people. I've seen that. Because it's like, even with this, you're writing rules. Like, I got into an incident, which I know I told you guys about, with um, on a trip a couple years ago. And it was interesting because some of, one of the first things one of my girl, my best friend had said was like, okay, well, as a married woman, how, and I was like, why as a married, how about just as a person? Yeah, I hate that. Because right. also they're now divorced. So she's not a married woman anymore. Oh shit. Yeah, he was really looking at you. Damn, she really, she really, <laughs> 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 it Yo, had nothing up. to do with me. Shut up. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. But it <laughs> But I was like that. You there's this sense. It's this weird. I, I know what you're saying. I get the like. I don't. I'm conflicted with it because I don't want to. It's not like I'm. Thro- I want to be married. I want to be in a relationship. I want to be awesome. But there's no re- like the way that you approach me should be the way that you still approach me, it's, whether or not I'm with. Why is being with this man or being in people, this relationship yeah. that now I'm supposed to be praise because then also is he how often does that happen when then your partner that you now feel like everyone's supposed to praise you for is not even treating you in that way there are some people that make marriage their whole identity like they are nothing outside of being married like i'm gonna greet you as a married person i'm gonna like we are together a lot just because we just happen to be friends we together a lot but i never would be like you don't understand this because like there are certain things you're not going to understand that are literally marriage things, but I'm not going to talk to you as you're like, you're a lesser person because I have a ring, which I don't even have. Um, (laughs) (laughs) But just because you have, you have one more thing over me is a ring and mate in a relationship or whatever. But like, it's, it's, I don't know. Am I going to talk to you about bills and keeping our credit together? Like, there's nothing else I can tell you that you're not going to know. And you went to school. I went to hair school, bitch. Number three is the (laughs) dumbest one I've seen. I don't take married men's phone number. If my husband is present and I believe the contact is valuable, I will leave the combo with exchange numbers with my husband and we will connect. When making plans, I hit up the wife for availability. Bitch, what? But you know what's crazy though is that I've I've do, I've done things like this. That's crazy. Because I know like that there are women that are going to freak out or going to have an issue. And yeah. so now I'm having to tiptoe or circle around or walk on eggshells to all hail you but for what reason Especially, because you're in a like to me that's an insecurity that you're having about your relationship I will never be in a relationship where I feel like I have to get involved with my partner's outside relationship right. I think my problem with that is that why do why is it that I can't have my own contacts why do they have to go through my husband to get to me if I'm the person that they need in yeah, the first place I don't even like that nigga oh okay. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's your business. Like God even even it. with comedy, because she said with business or anything, I'm a comic. He doesn't do stand up, so I you got to go through my husband to book me for something, or you got to go through my husband to pay me for that's something. That's also no. not my job. I'm not in a relationship. Exactly. If I got his number, that's on him to be like, oh hey, I saw I met Taylor shit is today. So stupid. Like, like I don't have crazy. a phone. Do I just not have a phone anymore? Like he got a phone. Just put it in his phone because I don't have a phone. <laughs> I use paper and pencil around here, and I don't have either of those on me. Like, are we in the 1920s? Like, why Yo, do I have to get now, permission? I'm not gonna lie. Her number four, I'm kind of with. No using terms of endearment, honey, darling, sweetheart is important not to create a miscommunication about intention or boundaries. Now, I will say this. I think that those are creepy terms anyway. <laughs> like, I'm not going to just say, what's up, honey? Yo, sweet, sweetheart. Just me, per- me personally, sweetheart creeps me out. Because when they, yo, sweetheart, like, why? Don't, please. I'm a yeah. grown-ass woman. Please don't call me that. I do have a friend. But that's just me. <laughs> I have, I, It's well, over 50. No, and that's actually, the it's the couple that's now divorced. So maybe there was some things there. <laughs> but he does call everybody babe. Like he'll call everybody, like 
he'll he'll yeah. say it in a way. And but I think it's also context clues, man. You could tell the difference between someone who's saying certain things to you. I think and so. there's something I also think behind it's a there. Cultural thing though. Like, also, yeah, yeah. Like I, <laughs> I've seen that before. Where bay, 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 and it's all good. You know, yeah. I, one of my friends' uh, girls that he was dealing with, she would call everybody babe, mm-hmm. J Rod, babe, babe. And I'm like, hey, what's up? And yeah. You know, you think nothing of it because you can tell, oh, that's just a part of the way they speak. You know, but- I think I think it's it's catered to each person. I just hate when people put blanket rules out for everyone to follow. And it's like, you know how to be, you're a grown person. You should know how to behave yourself around specific people. You know what I mean? Just monitor the relationship the way you monitor the relationship. If you're not going any farther than anything and everyone knows that, then fucking just do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's also like- Chick, as a man, you got a whole nother person you have to worry about. Why are you worrying about making rules for other people yeah, around I'm not you? Rules. Like that just seems I'm not like making rules. too much. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not. About 35% of men ages 19 to 29 aren't having sex. The number of virgins has tripled since 2008. Look, that is what? facts because there is someone that I have been hanging <laughs> out with. <laughs> and I even lowered my, I, I went against my own rules. And this motherfucker is three years younger than I am. Like he was barely. trying to give some ass to some young dude. What? Hold on. Whoa, Fucking pause. Whoa, whoa, that is not. That is not true. That is not right. That is not true that at all. That is not <laughs> true at all. Oh my but I, god. But I will say from the first one, I should have learned my goddamn lesson because they're like, isn't the idea as especially now that I am in my thirties, I thought, ooh, younger men. Like, isn't that a whole trope that happens? Like, isn't that a whole that thing? Happens after like forty five. <sighs> And I guess he's not young enough. He's not that. I mean, he's younger, but. Yeah, y'all still in the same high school. Yeah, but it's annoying. Because come on. All right. I want to read that one. Baltimore woman charged after stealing $12,000 Rolex watch watch and hiding it inside of her vagina. Every time I hear of anybody putting anything in vagina that's not a tampon, a dildo, or a dick. Yeah. I'm like, ouch and why? Also, I mean, it was twelve thousand dollars. I mean, also wild infections like pH that's off I'm, like I'm a like, motherfucker. That's just dirty. Yeah, you think she put the box up there too? You're about to say something way. I'm gross. just asking. You mm. think she put the box up there? If somebody came to you and said, "Taylor, I got a hundred thousand dollar watch, and you can do whatever you want with it. The only thing is that you got to carry it out this room in your pussy." What you gonna say? You gonna say no to that hundred thousand dollar watch? Or you gonna find a way for your pussy to carry some shit out this motherfucker? Hey, it's always a way for your pussy to carry some shit. There's <laughs> <laughs> always a way. Now, listen, I I get some um summer's eve after that and bounce that <laughs> exactly. bounce that pH right on out. Give you hear that me? woman some grace. Uh, wait, <laughs> did you guys see the story about the man with the bomb in his butt? What? No. You guys didn't see this? No. He no, had that like that a don't World come War II. <laughs> I'm sorry. He had a World War II bomb in his butt. Why though? I have no idea. I didn't get that far because I was like, how did it get there in the first place? Damn, you didn't read enough. You didn't. What? That seemed like enough to read. What more do I need? I would read that whole article. I'm not even going to lie to you. (laughs) I'm really I'm going to send this to you guys because I figured you would have seen it. Damn. Definitely didn't see that. I mean, I did think that because I was like, how do you decide? And this was like an older man, like a grandpa. Damn. It was probably his bomb. Probably. Yeah, that was his bomb. Go, Uh, grandpa. Let's get to nothing about sex. If I can find this Yeah, shit. you're having a hard time Yo, today. Yo, so many fucking topics. Yeah. Um, Nothing oh, about sex. Perfect timing, because I have to go pick up my mom. I mean, drop my mom off something soon. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> we, 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 we we coming around the curve. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Life expectancy in the U.S. falls to the lowest level since 1996. Interesting, because that 20-something mm. to 20-something range is 96, and it's probably because they're not having sex. Damn. Whoa. I didn't even put that together. Damn. That's crazy. I don't they do say math. that you have a longer life expense to see the more sex you have. I don't do math. Really? So. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. Have. See, baby, I'm trying to make you live. Sorry, this was supposed to be not about sex. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. If you're catching on, I'm having issues over what here. Is it? Does it say what it is? Um, um, yeah, so uh, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has released data that shows life expectancy in the UN in the U.S. has fallen for the second consecutive year to the lowest it's been since 1996. Uh, they are attributing this to the pandemic and the growing epidemic of substance abuse and addiction. However, heart disease and cancer has remained the two most prevalent causes of death in the U.S. And yeah. also, if people were having more sex, they would have less health issues oh. because they would have less. 
this time to I be really addicted like, to drugs I, and I alcohol. I feel like Taylor just wants to have more sex. Yo, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, y'all listening. She about to use this excuse. She gonna tell him, you know if we fucked. <laughs> I'm about you to send him this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We would just be. Um, would you buy weed from a church? Hell yeah. Oh my, what? There's a church in Sacramento that sells shrooms and weed. Really? No, Swear I, to God, I, yeah. Shrooms, are, but they're legal, right? Like Washington does that or something like that. Washington State, I think they're legal there. Like they they use them for things. Could like, you imagine being in church on shrooms while they're singing and talking about God and you're in with the lights and everything? You're going to see Jesus every single time you go to church. Never been on shrooms, so I have no idea what that would feel like. Why I've never been on lying? shrooms either. No, no. I ain't never. I really actually have never been on shrooms. <laughs> I'm the only one telling the truth in here. Um, There's a church, New Birth Baptist Church, uh, says that they want to grow and sell weed. It's Pastor Jamal Bryant. You know him? It's okay. Just keep going. Um, <laughs> they say it will help teach black boy. He says that it will help teach black boys and men farming. You can't plant some daffodils. It or was something. like <laughs> maybe some food that's more that sustainable. Was, get yeah, it back you can't to the just community. have a garden. It's a church right up the street. They, <laughs> that is they an excuse. Garden. His weed man raised his prices. <laughs> He's like, I'm oh just going to grow gosh. it in the church. What you want? What and you say that it's an outreach man, program. So, uh, oh no, nah. oh no. Nah. So, shout out to the homie Chuck, man. Chuck Creekmer from All, All Hip Hop. He is an ass for making me do this. So, go ahead. Go so, ahead. he randomly posted FYI, uh, something along the lines of FYI, don't ever look up an Aaron Hall interview. And I was like, why? I miss you, Aaron Hall. What you mean? What you mean? Like, he just is crazy. And are we even allowed to post this? I don't know if we we're, can play this. Yeah, are we allowed fine. to play this? It's fine. Who's Aaron Hall? You don't know who uh, Aaron it is. Hall is. Oh, if you have, I miss hold you. Hold on, hold on, baby, hold on. If you are new to Taylor, um, <laughs> <laughs> Taylor doesn't know a lot of the things that she should. But she also lived overseas for a very long time. You know what? I appreciate you for putting that in there. And oh. I also was raised by a second generation American who spent a lot of his time in his. Homeland. I met your daddy. Uh, no. You know who Aaron Hall is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh, your daddy damn sure know who Aaron Hall is. Your daddy probably met Aaron Hall. So, uh, <laughs> this girl got a whole bad boy legacy. She gonna come here and tell us, girl, if you don't shut the hell up. All right. So, we accidentally looked up one. And this is old. This is a Vlad interview from like eight years ago. But it's the first thing that came up. So, and you know, I don't, whatever. But it's the first thing that came up when I Googled it. Because I was like, if you're going to tell me not to look it up, I'm damn yeah, sure look looking it up. it up. I'm looking it up immediately. So, um, hold on. Let me get let me get in here. Can no bitch out there say that she handled my shit? My father's a pastor, so my whole thing is that my grandfather being a pimp, it's just like, it's just like, I'm third generation Aaron Hall III. My father's is Aaron Hall Jr. He's a pastor, so I just skipped over it like checkers. <laughs> so I want to say that thing is this is that, yeah. What's is more? that if you never heard a girl say that no fucked up trick shit about Aaron Hall, then you understand that less chill shit is some real shit. So, so that was know he uh, basically like, that like nah, from, nah, from nah, life nah. experience? Now nah, my whole thing is that I just, you know, I just think that Girls think that a whole lot of guys, you know, run after they shit. You know what I mean? And Talk to whole, me. You can say what you want on there. But a, a whole lot of that's the wrong you know, thing to tell these girls nigga. out there with the umbilical cords, them young 1970s, 1980s bitches. Yeah. You know what I mean? They try to go up there with the, you know, with the fresh out the pussy shit and and think they can get like a nigga like Aaron Hall. I'm historical dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And that's they right. Love me. If they fuck with me, it's a big dick. Everybody know my son's mother. Everybody know that shit. So yeah, that's everybody. glory, and it's tell so, them about it. So when you put errands on it, when you fuck a bitch for three days and take the bitch hand and take him out of the man's hand, then you a retired pimp. Yeah. But at, <laughs> but at, but at the time, as soon as I came ground. to South Beach, I just thing. grabbed her, and she'll tell you the same story. I just yeah. grabbed her and fucked her for three days, then Aaron's got on a pussy with an apostrophe S. Yeah. Like an Aaron. I mean, it was like, colors on it. like yeah, the crazy glue. I and mean, my whole thing is this, is that if niggas can't handle me, I'm not going to never let them get my last name. If you can't handle my dick, you ain't getting my last name. So I've been single for 50 years. <laughs> all, right, all right, now. Yeah. A whole lot of niggas out there from Jamie Foxx to like Denzel Washington to yeah. to whoever. Everybody know me. Yeah. So everybody know if I say it, I'm going to fuck it to 
to death. I yeah. like the fucking public, you feel me? Yeah. So niggas can't say nothing about it. Them square ass niggas, them precious cake little dick niggas. Yeah. I like for them niggas to see how I fuck. Like if you speak yeah. to Joe to see or Puffy or any of them niggas, yeah. they've been at my house. Yeah. They all see me fuck. Yeah. They all know I'm a big nigga. Yeah. If a bitch Yo, touch my it, dick and it. she say my dick. That part's probably Wait, hold true. on, hold on, hold on. There's a little bit more, hold on. Small, then she's a lying bitch. Yeah. Tell her to name the tattoo that's on my ribs that says warning. <laughs> you get this nigga, I'm fucking you up. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> First of all, that makes me think of I Miss You in a completely yeah. different. <laughs> but also, he was in Guy. So it, he was with, you know, him and R. Kelly was in Guy. <sighs> I'm not saying he fucking kids. I'm not saying that. I want to throw that out there. Wait, but wait, also. Maybe R. Kelly wasn't in Guy. No, he wasn't in Guy. Yes, he was. No, he wasn't. Not Guy. Yeah. Wait, he wasn't? No. But why, did, why were they together? Baby. No, he was. No. Baby, I R. think R. Kelly wasn't in Guy. I think you're lying to me. I'm not. Aaron Hall, Teddy Riley, and oh, the other it was it was Teddy Riley? Why did I say that? So, what did him and R. Kelly do? They might have done public announcement. They might have done something Wait, with public announcement. Hold together. on, because I knew it was it was something. Hold on, why did I say that? Anyway, keep going. Talk talk over me so it nah, doesn't sound like I'm listen, wrong. Listen, I'm gonna tell you right now. The best part of that whole shit is when he says, I'm historical dick. I'm going to keep it real. I'm not historical dick yet, but I am working in my life tirelessly to become historical dick. But do you want to be historical dick? Why the fuck not? Historical dick reads like having a hard time keeping it up dick because I'm old dick. What you mean? Damn. That's that's like... <sighs> Damn, it's I'm wrong. Word. I can't believe I'm wrong. <laughs> I can't believe I'm wrong. Like, is he talking about? Like, I mean, I get, I get it because like, in his, I get what he's. You saying. look up dick in the books and you see me. He said, "Everybody done seen me fuck." <laughs> and the dude that was egging him on was like he was getting looser and looser. That's in his the boy. That's like, his boy. Now nah, tell him, tell, tell him, him about, about it. it. Tell him about it. You always gotta have an old nigga in the back. Hell Tell yeah, them about man. it. But that shit was funny. Um, what are we watching? I think we only watched one thing together this week. Uh, what did what did we watch together this Tulsa week? Tulsa King. Oh, Tulsa King. We only watched the pilot, but it was really, really good. So fucking good. If you haven't checked it out yet, what is it on? Paramount? Um I think uh, it's Paramount. Paramount Plus. Yeah, it was on Paramount yeah, Plus. Paramount Plus. Check out Tulsa King, my dude, Sylvester Stallone, killing it. Like it. It was such a, it was a really good pilot, man. Really good pilot. Um, and I got to say, my baby needs to write because she was guessing who all the main characters were going to be. I knew exactly what it was. And- yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, no, it was, it was very good. Um, uh, I watched, uh, I had to make sure I got her name right and I'm probably not going to get it right. Um, I watched some stand up. Okay. Just a little bit of stand up. First up, I watched um, Tom Papa's new uh stand up that's on Netflix and I watch Atsuka Okatsuka I probably said it wrong but I met her like some years ago and she was super super nice we were standing outside for a stand up NBC one of them auditions where you sleep overnight at a club mm. and we all played Uno together and it was super cool but she has a special on HBO Max and it's so fucking funny like it's so funny like I love the way she approaches jokes and all like all her tags like everything that she says has meaning like it was so good um so i watched that i feel like i watched something else oh i finished firefly lane um which was good and it made me very sad uh at the end of it but i'm not gonna tell y'all nothing if y'all have watched it season two I watched some more of Dead to Me, which I love. Yo, where the fuck do I be at when you watching all this shit? I don't know. Running away from me like you do every single day. <laughs> um, and I think that might be it. Uh, and I watched the Netflix show. Um, it was like Cook at Any Price or some shit like that. Damn, I forgot the name of it. I usually have the Netflix shows up, but um, that one was good. I watched that too. You got to start just putting it in the notes. Okay, I forgot. <laughs> You never cook, do it. cook at any cost. And I said that that was a, they stole that show from a food network Alton show. Brown. I think it was Alton Brown, but as the more I was thinking about it, Alton I was Brown. like, it might not be him, but I know there was a show that was damn near the, the same fucking premise. Yeah. And I was mad about that. But the host is really good too. I can't remember his name, but he was really, it's a good job. I mean, you know what I did? You know, watch? mindless television. What? I, I watched the this new uh, game show. You know, I love game shows. Uh, it's called The Wheel. 
Oh, I didn't watch it. Um, yeah, I know you're talking about. How was it? It was it was just okay. Like it's a trivia game. Um mm-hmm. And it has some cool people, uh, cool celebrities. It's like basically you put a regular person in the middle and then you have these celebrities all around the circle in different uh, like different types of uh, celebrities. So I hate how you call people regular people, yo. Everybody regular. Celebrities regular. Call them <laughs> civilians or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, um, it was cool. It just, you ever, you ever watched the show? He was like, yeah, that's a little much. Like they just put every idea in the bag to make. No, you show. watch shows like that. That's yeah. what you do. Well, I, 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 I was curious because I love game shows, and it didn't do it for me, man. Did you watch anything this week that was interesting or fun? I, oh my god, what did I finish? I did watch something. Um, I started watching Emily in Paris. I'm behind on that, but the new season you know, was coming out. That's so his was, shit. Yeah, I man. did start getting into that, and I was like, okay, this is cute. That's my shit. <laughs> that's his shit. Wait, this, you, you're like on the first season. Yeah, like I started. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This I is started. the third season yeah, that just yeah, came out. Yeah, okay. yeah. But I, I've gotten through, like I'm close to the second season. I was like trying to catch up to before it came okay. out. Yeah. So I watched, I watched Too Hot to Handle by accident. Oh. Yeah. I was going to, oh, I know something else I watched. Go ahead. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. You know what I got into? This wasn't this week, but a couple weeks ago. Um, hype. On oh, HBO. the hype! The hype, yeah. The hype is the shit. Oh my! Shout I, out Magic Lemonade and Miss Ricky. Yes, the hype. I yes. love that. Ch- Again, I think the pageant has really gotten me connected with my. No, it's energy. so good. <laughs> it's a good show. <laughs> I'm like, this is so cool. I love that show. Yeah, I love that show so much. Shout out to Miss Ricky. That's yeah. super cool. Um, I watched. Did I talk about this last week? The Stella show. The Stella got a groove back show. No, I don't. think Hotel groove. That. It's up. God. Doggone it. Um, it's the show where they based, um, they they put these three women in their 40s in a house with all these younger men that are in their 20s. Wait, isn't it like, lo- it's... Uh, it's based off Stella Got a Groove Back because Tay I Diggs is the host, yeah. but I don't see him but in the first episode. I don't know where <laughs> Tay is at. And it says whatever the title is with Tay Diggs. And I'm like, all right, bitch, but what's the... He's, it's not really with Tay Diggs. He might be executive producer on it, um, oh, I'm sure he's his like, Yeah, sure I think he might be, but hold on. What is the name of this damn show? I got to find it. Um, oh, Back in the Groove. That's what it is. Um, but I started watching that. Um, it's very interesting. I think I'm going to, when I finish it, I'll probably give my final thoughts. Um, I like the ladies they chose, um, but it's still such a weird, I get what they're doing, but it's weird. <laughs> it's people in there like these women this woman there's a woman that's like 43 and I think one of the dudes she's dating is like 22 <gasps> oh they're that they're young? in their 20s like I don't think anyone there might be some there might be like 31 maybe but I don't think so that is a 20 year difference but it the thing is they're all grown right everybody grown I get it I get it but it is just very interesting to watch so i'll give my final thoughts once i finish it because <laughs> it's it's interesting though i mean i couldn't stop watching it so i guess they did what they were supposed to do because i could not stop watching that damn show <laughs> but yeah so that's that was what that. it is um any final thoughts taylor i'm gonna let you have your final thoughts first because you're not here every day so i'm not um no i don't have thanks for having me guys oh my yeah, god taylor. Man, felt good to have you back in the mix and everything she hates us <laughs> <laughs> I literally walked into the room and I turned around. I was like, "He put a third mic out." So. Yeah, that's what she said. So she's never coming to visit again. She's like, "Wait a minute, is, should I do my makeup?" Like, what is yeah, going on? Yeah, I like around? just came out here. I had a voiceover this morning. I was Girl, supposed to go back home. It's I okay because you've been like, keeping your skincare regimen up. That's all. Oh, you been <laughs> you glowy. I don't know if you nervous glowy or <laughs> <laughs> you actually glowy. But no, it, no. Thank oh, yeah, you, Taylor, cool. for coming. I also yeah, didn't think you guys wanted me on the show. So Taylor, yeah, we didn't. And tell you to leave. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with her? That was on you. <laughs> we didn't say anything. Okay, great. Well, yeah. And now I'm happy I have something to passively send to someone to give him a hint. <laughs> what? Well, guess what? You got to make her a clip and get and send it just only to her phone. Send it a clip for her to get some dick. Oh, they, why not? Oh wait. Yeah, okay, I do have a final. Oh, do I want to share this? Fuck I thought it. it was about something and talking about what we watched and then that qu- the something that was up there we didn't get to. I <laughs> told someone something that I typically I was drunk and I didn't remember until this is like usually how the show used to start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
That's something she randomly did that she forgot about. <laughs> Dude, when I say I for I completely forgot that this ha- I'm like dry. I was either coming here, or I was going to New York. I was in the car She's and had you know when you have thinking about it too. <laughs> the moments when you're like, oh no, but I was. No, I don't have that many anymore. I know exactly how my day gonna go. No, oh, I well, <laughs> day is, my day is very predictable now. I need that stability in my life because <laughs> there's been a few times, but I was. Having Taylor time, I guess. Masturbating. Oh, I wasn't masturbating, but I was like, Tay Tay oh, time. Tay <laughs> time. That's how I'm she's in my to phone. Your Tay Tay time. Yeah. Um, I had saw something. I was browsing the interwebs, mm. and a gentleman popped up in a clip that looked like someone I know, and I was like, Yo, did he not tell me that he was in porn? And so I clicked it and I was like, wow, that guy just looks a lot like him. And then I kept watching it and I was like, oh, wow, that guy looks a lot like him. (laughs) So then I may have saw another one. I told him. Wait, you saw the following this guy? (laughs) I just, I mean, I, I, I browsed his. Oh yeah, what? His collection. Why she can't get to know the porn stars like you? You know you all their credits. Down. You calm down. You know yeah, all the credits. You have a favorite. I don't even know yeah, this man's name. Exactly. I just knew that he looked like somebody I knew. Now she knows. Yeah, she knows. <laughs> now she knows. She definitely knows. Yeah. I did think about Google. She had to, to distinguish yeah. if that was them, so she had to find out his name. That's an excuse. Yeah, I actually okay. never found out his name, so it could be him. Except for I know it's not him because I told him that I watched. he lied like anybody would if they said, hey, I saw that she was in a porn. Nobody would. Some people would be very proud to be in porn. I would be proud. T- You're a different type t- of person. Please baby. tell me you saw me in a porn. If wow. you find one, tell me. Because that's probably when my titties was good. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. About that. If it was that far back, you let me know and I will share it. I'll leak it. Fuck <laughs> it. I will leak it. You hear me? <laughs> Maybe he did. All he said was, I'm flattered. I was like, I bet he is. Wow. He was probably like, What episode was it, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I put it down that episode. Which one? Yeah, that was. I killed it. I know exactly who that was. I, I told one of my best friends about that because actually you guys are like the second people I'm telling and Damn. everybody here. It's fine, no. It's, <laughs> but yeah. she was more, she was like, you watched porn? <laughs> and I was like, oh. oh. Okay, that's what you're stuck oh. on. I'm like melting inside because I told How this, old is your friend? We're the same age. No, but but I don't talk, do I don't, that yeah. That's also why I was scandalized that I told him this too because he, we talked about this and I was like, oh. yeah, not really. And then I drunk and was like, I watched porn that looked like you. <laughs> <laughs> God. And he was like, and it was weird at his work. It was like outside wait, of his wait. job. And he only hit you with the one word flattered. Oh no. And then we had sex like a couple days after. Oh, that, yeah. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And in hindsight, when I connect the dots of the timeline, dots of the timeline, I'm like, Oh, that's how that you didn't show him what he was doing in the video. No, it was a lot of other people in the video too. So I didn't yeah. want to scare him because there was a lot happening, Wow. All but righty. that dude stood out. So that's why I was like, Oh, can you do that? <laughs> can you do that did he it, it, it was cool oh okay man. no it no. was I'm up, this is the same I got excited watching the video oh. like after the real thing was like eh. that's why no you it's because it only happened that one other time and it hasn't happened since then that's why you never meet your heroes Taylor <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't have told him 